of my coffee. Well, we can pause for that. That's really important. Do you know like, really, really. It, whatever the screen looked like is what it was when we sweat, press play. And that's different than normal. Well, I think so. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. The whole tech part of it is like, ugh. Ugh is right. Um, good morning. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good Anne. Good morning. Oh, good morning. It is, it is, um, gray and icy, frosty air today, which is very weird because it's supposed to be, oh, the high is only plus one today. Yeah. Yesterday, it was like nine degrees. So that was, that's a big switch. Okay. I'm on it. Everything's good. It's all right. Don't panic. This is normal. Good morning from South Carolina and Hi. good evening in Turkey. What? Good evening. We were, I was just talking about Turkey with the lady next to me at the salon. She really? was at, we were talking about traveling. She said that she were at Turkey last year and she said it was incredible. Friends of ours had their honeymoon there a million years ago. And they traveled around, sorry, they, they did a trip where they traveled around a lot, and Turkey was one of the stops, and it was by far their favorite I've place. heard that. Yeah. Also, um, Amman, Jordan. Oh, I can't believe that. Southern well, Germany. Hello. hello to everybody, but it still just blows my mind that there's people halfway or all the way around the world that are mm. here. So thank you for that. I'm reading all your comments. Everybody's, oh, hello from Nova Scotia. How about Malta? How about Malta? I'm dying to go to Malta. I hear Malta is How about stunning. Lisa in South Dakota? How about Lisa? And how about the Catskills? Good morning. Good morning from sunny Maine. And good afternoon in the UK. Okay, you guys, let's make this a thing where at the beginning we say hi and you tell us where you're from. <laughs> we love that. I mean, if you're just... Toledo, Ohio. Yeah, I love it, you guys. Dayton, do you know Toledo? I have to say, um, I'm super happy that it's still sweater weather. Would I'm you? okay with plus one right now. I know. Because I get, get to wear sweaters. It's whose birthday? Amy. Amy. Happy birthday, Amy. Notorious Amy. Amy, let me tell you, you are in a mega birthday week for our family. You won't believe this. The lady next to me, we were talking about turkey. It was her birthday yesterday. No. Okay, just a minute. Just a minute. <laughs> Hold the phone. So between, so one, two, three, four, seven birthdays from the 4th to the 14th. So friends and family combined. We have seven or eight birthdays. And five of those are immediate birth, immediate. Yeah. Yeah. It's nuts. It's crazy. There was... A lot of babies being born. Actually, it's such a lovely time of year to have a baby. Like if you're having a baby or it's your birthday. Um, I know. Somebody said they just had a scare. They thought it was Thursday. We're screwing up your week. Sp spring Burv. It's her birthday too. Well, happy birthday. This is The weird. reason we are here on a Wednesday is because we've got a big birthday in our family tomorrow. Yeah. And Jody's got plans that yeah. are... Numero uno, top of the yeah. list. So Lunch plans with Madison Brown, who's 18. Let's not forget Jackson Miller. Jackson had his birthday yesterday. It's so, okay, here's, you know, I don't think of myself as old, and I really truly don't think I'm old, but every once in a while I have a conversation with someone and I think to myself, huh, I'm old. Huh, <laughs> there's a few more years under my belt than I thought. I, I, we've been so busy lately. And I, so last Saturday, I was like, I cannot put off this pedicure any longer. My feet are like trolls, tro like drier than dry, like, like I've been walking in a desert. So I went and sat and had such an awesome pedicure. I took my sweater and I was knitting and there was a girl right next to me and she was really excited because she was getting a pedicure and she was going to Mexico. Her parents were going and she and her husband and their three-year-old son. And she goes... Yeah, and his birthday is like tomorrow, so he's just wired up. And I was like, "Oh, how old? Is he? He's three. And I was like, "Oh, my son's gonna, <laughs> my son's birthday is in three days too." And she goes, "Oh, that's so nice. How old is he gonna be?" And I was like, "29." <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> so, but it's, you know, it's like yesterday when he was three. Like I remember, yeah. it, like yesterday. So I it just it's that thing where 
you know, people that were older would tell you, oh, time flies. Mm. No, no, no. They're not little for long. And in the meantime, you're like, I'm going crazy because it's 24 seven. And it's not because I don't love every single age. Like I'm not saying, oh, I want to go back because I'm not loving these years. I just want time to slow down. Yeah. I just want more time. That's all. Yeah, I know. So, it's not, I know. That's why I feel like this whole living in gratitude, where you are, you know what I mean? Like, mm. you know, yes, it's crazy when they're three, it's 24 hours a day and they can't do anything themselves. And you're always like, it's exhausting. And yeah, that is a fact. Yeah. And then they turn into teenagers and you wish they would be home more. Mm. And then they move out. So... Right. You know, it's it's just nuts. It yeah. is such a it's it's been amazing though. Yeah. I mean I feel anyway. That was just kind of a wild moment. So yay for Madison. Happy mm. eight eighteen's the big birthday in Canada here in Alberta because you're officially an adult. You can drink you can booze, go to the bars. Smoke weed. <laughs> all of that fun stuff. Good morning, uh, Star. Good morning, Star. Good morning, Star. Um, hey in Seattle. And South Central Wisconsin. Um, It's been a great week, you guys. Gosh, it's just like the turn of the weather gives yes. everybody a little extra pep in their step. Totally. Going out without a coat. Mm. As soon and as... the sun is just so mm. glaringly bright. That just changes everything for oh, me. Oh, we had daylight savings for us crazy. That was awful. Losing an hour of sleep is awful. Well, thank God it's on a weekend. Like, daylight savings is... Yeah, glad it's not a Monday or a Sunday. <laughs> Sunday night, turn your clocks ahead. Right. Um, yeah, so, yeah, anyway, we get s- tons of sunshine. Yeah. I was watching um, something where they were in Alaska, and it was like their mm. dark day, almost, you know, when it was, they don't get any sun. Yeah. And there's times where it's like the sun rises at nine in the morning and sets at noon. There, yes. Like, it's just wild. There's so many different places. Um, um, what was I going to say? Oh, the Oscars. Oh yeah. And you know, I just feel like I watched them much the past few years and I love them. Like I I love them. This was a, I thought this was really good. I thought it was really good. Excellent. Excellent evening. I thought the women, their gowns felt old Hollywood, like the, the beading and the feathers and the sequins. Lapita Nuongo. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, anyway, the dresses, I always watch. If I don't watch anything else, I record and watch the red carpet. Oh, I know. I love the red carpet. And then you get actual like personal interviews and stuff. I thought it was great. I Emily enjoyed Blunt. it. Oh, I know. She's always incredibly She is so beautifully beautiful. dressed. Yeah. 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 There I was, love that. oh, there were so many beautiful ones. And I mean, it was a great show. Uh, Billie Eilish performed. Yes. Ken. Bar- is she really only 22 years old? Yes. Isn't she stunning? Wow. Yes. Just she, wow. She was a baby when she started this all. Yeah. Yeah. And to do She's it with her blow- brother. She blows me away. And I always get like kind of sentimental that she they are this big and this successful as a brother and sister mm. together. Because there's no one else you trust more than a family that member it has mm. to be yeah more than you can imagine yes right yeah um but her her watching her sing that song mm. she's incredibly talented mm-hmm. she's amazing newsflash billy um, eilish is good jody foster john cena somebody said i know my husband was like and then john cena came out naked i said no he was kind of wearing a diaper but man did it look like he was naked yeah it did. hilarious yeah I do enjoy Jimmy Kimmel a lot. I can think his humor is quite funny. He, I think he must be um, well respected because of the standing ovation and just like he's respect. He, the opening monologue and just roasting his colleagues, but taste. I don't mind about. Ba- I don't want a couple joke. that I was like, what? But really? like mostly, ta- like funny. tastefully, not tastefully, but like. Within parameters and not stepping over a weird line and people saying, oh, well, right. it's just comedy. Right, 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 right. And Oppenheimer just cleaned up. Yeah. I haven't seen it. Uh, I did. Yeah. But my heart wishes there were different results for some, right, mm. for some things. But I love seeing, um, especially those, like, 
um, documentary winners and the short filmmakers. Like these are people that don't have the money or the studio or the people behind them. And these the Oscars are voted on by their peers. peers. So whether or not we were hoping for other results, it was like these people in your field picked you as the mm. best that year. And I just think that's incredible. And even it's true that if you're narrowed down to the top five as a nominee, that's to be celebrated. You know what I was thinking? Is that I wonder, like, when I was watching it, it's like, I didn't realize it was your all your peers. Yeah, it's a voting I thought it thing. Was, wasn't it like thank you to the Academy? I guess they're all members of the Academy, yes. though. Right? Is that what how it happened? I think so. Okay. Like you're sent, I believe, a package, and you watch these movies, and then you mm. vote. Oh, did you watch all the? I only watched one. I know it. I've been wanting to see so many more. You only watched one, Barbie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and okay, I saw Twice. Killers of the Flower Moon. I saw Oppenheimer. But there's so many. Like, mm. I want to see The Holdovers. I want to see there's, there's American the, Fiction. I want to see Anatomy of a Fall. Like, they're in my list to watch. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I will watch them. Mm. Anyway, I thought it was really good. I, I thought it was an enjoyable, mm -hmm. enjoyable evening. I thought it was. Because the last, I don't remember which one I thought, oh, this is so boring. I actually thought my favorite thing for the whole thing, thing they added was when they were doing the best actors and actresses and supporting where they had bumps. their peers that have already yes. won say a little bit about them. And I thought that, I hope they keep that because that was way better than just reading names mm -hmm. off oh, of I a agree. list. Uh, Al Pacino, he doesn't believe in reading lists. Oh my God. <laughs> that was kind of a moment where you're like, um, I'm pretty sure somebody missed <laughs> rehearsal yesterday. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to say Al Pacino does nominated. not rehearse. Right. I'm Al Pacino, I don't know. I have and to I say, don't. The flubs, I literally watch just for that kind of stuff because I think it's really funny. Mm -hmm. um, good morning, Gabrielle. She is from Edmonton. Near and far friends are what? here. That is phenomenal. Oh, American Fiction and that Anatomy of a Fall is on Prime. Oh, good. Yeah. I oh, no. I pay for all kinds of streaming no, no. services. I play for it, pay for all those, but I still end up renting them I all. Still have well, no, no I idea. want to pay Apple TV. Right. Right. That's hilarious. Um, um, yeah, you know, it's been a great week. It's been a great couple you know of what, weeks. Um, good news. I have another perimetopause um, side effect or like, um, what do you call Symptom. Um, um, touch sensitivity. Is that a thing? Yes. I'm diagnosing myself. I, I was going to say, doctor, doctor but DM, it's like my, like everywhere, just, all the time. It just started about a week ago. Everywhere. Yes. So it feels like you're like there's a bruise under your skin. How about you go to the doctor? Just to say that, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, I have to call her next week for a prescription refill. So I'll I'll brush it by her. Right. But it so does say, after, yes. So maybe it'll come and go. That's what it can. They said, yeah, and it gets way worse, like when you're supposed to get your cycle. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Mine is getting sporadic, but let Been me tell there, you. Done that. Yes, we are. Yes, knit, we're a knitting podcast. Let's talk about our cycles. Um, okay. Listen, I'm all about bringing this stuff to the forefront, right? Well, it's like, did you see Jessica Beale's got a big thing out about talking about your period, her book, and everything? Because it's one of those things that people never talk about, and 51% of the population is dealing with it. Right. Anyway. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. Let's talk about our periods. Let, I mean, <laughs> I don't really wanna. <laughs> Let's I will. talk about our menses. Um, our cycle. Okay, so yay Jessica Biel, but maybe not. Um, anyway, I think that's kind of funny. Anyway. Yeah. Jody, I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, it's and like a one and a half. It's like a one and a half, but I'm... Hopefully it is a um, temporary thing. Hopefully. And I've never heard of it. Stop Googling stuff. Well, I wanted to Google it because it hurt to touch my skin. Like how much? Like how oh, much does it like hurt? Like one and a half. Like from zero to feeling nothing to like two. Right. So it shouldn't feel that way, but it's not bad. Yeah. Well. Ah, oh, Robin, you're you're in it uh, for the next 20 years. Robin's in perimenopause. Listen, that new book by Dr. Mary Claire just came out yesterday. Mm. And I think she is an amazing resource if you're looking for 
menopause help. Mm -hmm. Like she's just a gynecologist, but her practice was because of her patients. She ended up having to do deep dives into yes. menopausal care. So it's kind of become a specialty, but let me tell you. I, I love a great resource. Totally. And I tell my doctor, oh, you know, I'm worried about hormone this, hormone that. And they're like, oh, want to ship you off to another doctor right away. Nobody knows. Yeah. Jennifer just said she has three boys and she's educating her boys on women's health. Yeah. That's where, that's an excellent. Lucky them. No, it's good, but like. <laughs> Come let mommy tell you about my period. It is. No, I, it's a joke, but it's. It's not. I, I totally agree with it. But, and that's the thing when you have like a brother growing up in a house with women, like mothers and sisters or whatever, it's just by osmosis you end up learning about this stuff. But they usually separate the kids, right, for sex ed in school or like they talk if they take the boys to this. So they never really, if you don't have a sister, you never no. really learn about it. Listen, I think that's amazing that she's educating I do her too. Boys. It does make for awesome, you know, if you're whether or not in they a have a partnership yeah. with a woman that it, you know. Look what I bought. Wait till you see Jody, it. Jody, I love. Okay, so that's funny. I love our little side um, side track thing. I see you brought lipstick. I brought lipstick. Do you want me to tell you about it? Because I want to try it on. Jody, I can't even tell you how much I love this. This is kind of also paramenopausal or just dry skin people. We love hyaluronic acid. It plumps things up. It holds moisture. This is, I'm sure people know about this. This is by Glossier and it's their Ultra Lip. And it's the cross between a lipstick. Do you want a bright pink or a regular pink, like a brownie pink? What do you want? You've already got stuff on. This is Villa. This is the one I wear all the time. It's a, it's, it's a, cre it's a, it's a wet lipstick. It's, it's got hyaluronic acid in it. So it's moisturizing, but it's also colored. It's not just chapstick and it doesn't have that chapstick feel. I Excuse love it. Excuse me while I check out with every color in my cart. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. This is not that. this bright, but it is a pink. This is portrait, you which I love. Your cheek. You can use it anywhere, but it's very moisturizing. This, that was portrait. This is Villa and this is Lucite and it's Ooh, just I the palest, that. palest, palest these, I would get these two, this and the lighter pink, I think. I think if you tried this other one on, you would I like think it. I would, I think I, but you can put think... it lightly so that's like, okay. okay, now I don't have brownie lips. Like it's an actual kind of pink. Uh, I wear them all. I wear them all. And they're very... This feel, is nice. It's nice, Joe. And it stays on, and it's super moisturizing, and it's by Glossier. And I feel like, as far as, like, not drugstore makeup goes, that they're in a really good price category. Like, yeah. I think these are $32 or something. Not cheap, but it is lipstick, and it is hyaluronic acid and stuff. So it, it does... It feels good. I love it. Okay. I love it. Don't let me forget. I'm ordering Glossier lip gloss today. Well, why don't you just... Why don't no. I just go pick you up some? From In where? Third, it's Sephora. Mm -hmm. Or you could order it. Did you know you guys can get Sephora delivered via Uber Eats? I know. Have you done it? Yes. After Amber told me that one time, I did do it for some skincare. And it was sort of, you know, in the winter, it was freezing cold. I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to pay for the delivery instead of getting myself dressed to go to the mall, which is awful. I did That's it once. So it was phenomenal. And now we're going to get the Sephora over by... I just saw that yesterday. The shoe company. I wonder when that's opening. I don't know. It's been under construction Anytime for a while. Anytime you can go to something like that without having to go to a mall. Oh, all day. Especially our mall. It's mm. awful right now. So much construction. Anyway, I have to say, I love it. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. Feels great. <laughs> And it's got way other, like darker colors of your set, like with someone that likes darker. There's a beautiful red. Mmm. So. I love all these. I feel like I can't do red lipstick and I would be, I would love to be that person. I feel that like. had like perfect red lips all the time. But it's. I feel like I want to feel like I look better in that hot pink stuff. Maybe with a tan. Jody, I'm not even kidding you. It's really pretty on. I'll order it. See, look, one swipe, and then if you smush yeah. it, it's just That's it's pretty. just like a yeah. petal pink kind yeah. of. Yeah, love it. Yeah. Leaning kind of core. I love Ooh, it. Oh, I do love that. I do. I would do. I do. I do. So maybe I'll get the red one day, just to have like a 
lighter. Excuse me, Newbury, UK. Good morning, Karen. Good afternoon. Oh, well, I yes. see we've heard a lot of sock talk happening on your side today, Jody. I'm excited for that. We do. For some reason, I was going down the sock hole. I love that. The what? The sock hole. There's no such thing. And ew. Like a rabbit hole. Oh, oh, okay. But I did the sock hole, you guys. You know what? You might want to walk gently around. Bad news. That. Um, I did not finish my sweater. God, I really want it for when I go away. So stop. We doing worked. These other we things. we yeah. were so busy, but I'm not as busy now. So I'm I'm really I'm digging in. Yeah, Jody, you guys were crazy busy. Before. I'm digging in. Um, let's, shall we start the knitting portion? Mm. <laughs> We've had 20 minutes of our chat with our friends. I hope you guys are well. The chitter chatter. I'm not going to, I'm not going to start yawning, but just let me get more coffee in me. I would like you to start with your sweater while I look up the name of mine because I've forgotten it. Isn't yours a Stockholm slipover? Yeah. No. Maybe. Something no. Like that. No. Okay. I don't think it is. Look at you fancy um, sweater. Okay, you guys. I don't know why it feels like forever since I finished a sweater. And really? what's what's wrong with me that I can't even remember the last one I finished? There's something going on. Um, so lately I have been, and I'm trying to be super monogamous so that I can get these things done. So we saw the beautiful yarn that Jody dyed and gave me for a Christmas gift this year. This is Frankie Gray Fibers. And this is her color eucalyptus on the fingering weight sock yarn. And this is her um, alpaca fluff. No, what's it called? Majestic fluff. Okay, alpaca, alpaca cashmere. Okay, so this is 53% baby alpaca, 34% silk, and 13% cashmere. I have never felt something so soft. So it's as much really as I nice. think Surrey alpaca is super soft... To me, this is a, even a little bit softer. So it's just like that 13% less alpaca, and then they've added some cashmere. Which is always a good idea. Always. Let me tell you. Um, so I chose to knit the Lento sweater because I wanted a super quick... Ellie's barking at everything in our neighborhood. I should maybe put her in her house. Um... The Lento is a beautiful pattern from Ravelry that you, it is a, I think it's a 14 or 15 stitch gauge, maybe 15 it's so stitch. so beautiful. So it's knit on a really, I knit mine on a 5.5 millimeter needle and you hold, actually this is the closest Lento that I have to like the pattern because mm. in the pattern they hold a Surrey Alpaca oh. and a Merino single by La Bienne Amie. Look at you. There's actually, I believe... A knit along going on right now for Lento, you guys. I would totally join it if you haven't knit it before. The Lento is a raglan sweater, which I love to wear. I find them very comfortable. And it normally has a folded collar and not twisted rib. So I did modify the, the ribbing. Yeah. Um, I did three a three inch twisted rib cuff. And also at the bottom, it's a it's oh, a so, beautiful. so this is like the perfect length. The, I feel like the fit is amazing. It feels so soft on. And Jody, I feel like this is maybe, like, you know how you knit something and you put it on and you think, oh, wow, that color is one of my colors. Like, it looks better than other colors on you. I it's feel like this is one of those color. colors for me. It's pretty close to and you my eye color. Oh, it's beautiful. Like, you're so good in, like, blues that yeah. match your eyes. So I kind of feel that right now. I feel like this is my color. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I, so you guys did an amazing job. I feel like the shape of this Lento is everything I look for when I look for a pattern. I think so Just too. Just like the bigger gauge, the relaxed fit, the, the raglan increases. Yeah. I just think it's beautiful. And it really does, um, that taking that time to do a swatch where you match the designer's gauge... And then just going through the pattern where you don't have to worry about anything mm. else, right? Just take that little bit of time. It hardly takes any time, really, to do the swatch. Um, but, yeah, I feel that so much with this. And I feel like I chose the right size for myself. It's not too it's perfect. overly big. Yes. I feel really good in it. I actually pulled it off the drying mats yesterday morning and then threw it on. This is day two. Are I'm you wearing bringing this. it on your travel? Yeah. 
I think so. Nice. I think it's even going to be cute with like a collared shirt underneath. Mm -hmm. um, if you're someone that wears like, you know, those beautiful linen sh um, shift dresses underneath, mm -hmm. you could crop it and yeah. just, it's just such a great classic shape. So you'll find this so Unravelry, and it's designed, it was the originally in Lina Magazine, but you can get the pattern individually now, and it's designed by Yona, mm. and I always, I don't think I say her last name right, so I get shy to say it, because it's Finnish, so I would really love to Try know. It. No. Um, I don't know. Is what it, does it look it's, like? Um, is it Hitala? No. Probably not. I feel so bad. I'm kidding. Um, but yes, it is. She's an amazing designer and she really yeah. loves, I feel like, simplicity and classic shapes. And I, I just love all the things. I agree. Oh my God, you guys. I always think I'm so rude when I'm You are. Yawning. Yeah, we all think the same oh, thing. Jeez. Um, but I do think there's something to be said for a sweater knit at a really loose gauge. I think the fabric moves. Mm-hmm. The drape of it yeah. and the, the movement of the sweater when it's a little bit looser is what I look for. I remember thinking when I cast on the Love Note by Tin Can Knits, it was the first time I had done a fingering weight and mohair sweater on like a giant, like five and a half millimeter needle. And I thought to myself, this is going to look awful and I, I'm not going to like the fabric. I mean, Tin this Can Knits already is like, no, we love it. So it was an eye opener and I love learning new things like that. And since I've done that, I, I, I love knitting that kind of gauge. That's the fluff fills in all yes. the stitches in between. And I did find this one even more so filling in the fluff. Like I'm used to a lace weight mohair and this one I think is a smidgen. The fluff's a heavier denser on there, but I loved it. I mean, it's still it still got gauge. No problem. The sweater feels like a dream. It feels incredible on. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for my Christmas gift. And I'm so happy to have a sweater now. Oh. Okay. So it's funny you say that about Surrey. So my lemon cello sweater, that's Surrey, right? Yeah. So I've put that on twice in the last, since I podcasted last time. And I thought, why are we knitting mohair? <laughs> why am I knitting mohair? It feels so good. I know. I do think there's a little bit of a difference as far as the way the fabric behaves. I think alpaca is warmer. Yeah. So if you're somewhere that that's an issue, like you don't want super, super warm, a bunch of super warm sweaters, mm. you know, but I totally agree. As far as like, if we had them side by side and our eyes closed, you would like, of course I want this one that's super soft with the alpaca. And we're lucky. We live somewhere really cold. So I can have a lot of sweaters like that. I know. And I really especially love the way that this alpaca, it is dyed the exact same color, but comes out slightly lighter. So I get it this amazing heathered quality to the fabric. Don't you just love it's that? It's so beautiful. It's not just a solid. I like the imperfectness of a, a not 100% solid yarn. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. Some kind of a variation. Yeah. And somebody said there's less yardage on a Surrey and you're totally right for lots of bases. This one that Jody has in their shop is 50 grams and 400 meters. So it's, you know, I've seen them where they're 325 meters and you're right. They're not as much yardage. It's actually got more yardage than this skein of sock yarn. I made by a little bit, by like 30 meters. Yeah. So it's a so it's one to one, you guys. And say I moved to a different Surrey base. It's just slightly adjusted. It's the same silk and alpaca, baby alpaca. But I thought it was really important if I could source one yeah. that people didn't have to like. You know, when you sub mohair mm -hmm. for the fingering and mohair sweater, they want to go to Surrey and not having to buy extra. I think so too. This Tracy saw a bit. Someone had a base like that, and I thought I'm gonna look just with it. more yardage because mm. I think. That is a huge point. You know, people would say, well, I, I love Surrey alpaca, but I have to buy a whole other skein mm -hmm. just to make my sweater work. And, and so in fact, you don't. Now, now there's Not other. With, yeah. So keep an eye out because there are bases with more yardage now. And this is definitely one of them. I feel like I just love this cashmere mm. alpaca. I love it. So I, I don't have a Surrey sweater. I mean, I didn't before yesterday, but now I do. I can't believe that. 
Yeah, me too. I mean, I love the mo. I don't get me wrong, mohair people. I'm still a mohair person. Mm. I feel like they look different. Like I can get a mohair. I love them both. Do I think mohair is not as soft? Yes, for sure. Yeah, but it's still very nice. <clears throat> I love the drape of it, and it is a, a lighter lace weight fabric. Yeah. So there are differences, but I love them both. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I love. I, I do. I um. I've come to, um, the alpaca combo with right. fingering has quickly become my first choice. And somebody said they're nervous to knit a sweater, and I tell you, this sweater by itself, this pattern. I would absolutely recommend as a first sweater because it knits up really fast mm -hmm. and it is a very simple pattern. Really, yes. really, there's nothing complicated anywhere. And if you don't want to fold the, the hem up here, if you think to yourself, oh, I don't want to do that. But even though lots of people have done it on hats before, maybe. Listen, you don't have to. It's your sweater. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. But my next one will have a folded um collar just to have different things but i tell you this this is a pattern i could absolutely see you know like a, a yarn shop doing a knit along for my first sweater or just doing it yourself mm -hmm. as a first sweater mm -hmm. i love that yeah very size inclusive um and uh, for a relaxed fit, meaning you're not worrying if it's your first sweater about something that's uh, maybe fitted yeah. or, you know, different. Like shaping. Yeah, shaping. There's none of that shaping. Oh, that was my other modification, you guys. I did not. I should make a project page for this. I did not do any decreases on my sleeve until I got right to the end here. And I decreased about like 15%. So hmm. 10 stitches okay, is what I decreased. And then I did a twisted rib. Um, you don't have to decrease at all. I actually love a totally open sleeve yeah, me too. as well. But this, and I did go down a needle size for this ribbing only. Every other ribbing has been done in the same size as the sweater. Do they say that? No. Why do you do that? Because I didn't want ribbing that pulled in, really. I just wanted it to be a texture on the sweater. I've done that, too, but not the collar up top. I've done that on the bottom. No. No, I didn't Interesting. this time. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't. You don't have to, um, but I didn't want... Okay, so Sometimes... can you just say that? Say that again for the for the for uh, one of the reasons why you wouldn't go down your needle for the bottom ribbing. So for the bottom... So lots of times for all ribbing... People go down one or even two needle sizes mm -hmm. to get a nice, beautiful, for your stitches to look nice, right? If, if it's on too big of a needle with thinner yarn, it can look uh, messy and sloppy. And if, this is also part of the reason that I love to swatch, because you can, in your swatch, do a little bit of ribbing and see, oh, I actually like my ribbing on that size needle, my gauge size needle. Um so for my ribbing, I just wanted it to be the texture of the rib, but I didn't want my sweater to do to do this. Yeah. To come in. So ribbing naturally pulls in a little bit. That's just the nature of the fabric with the knits and the pearls. But if you don't go down your needle sizes, it's easier to make it, you know, as you block it, you just kind of smooth it out and it will stay more like a straight shape if that's what you're looking for. But if you do want something that's... Um, you know, more fitted yeah. or more tailored. Um, I would absolutely say, you know, go down a needle size or two to get that really nice ribbing. But I actually think, oh yeah, this, I did go down the ribbing. I actually think it looks pretty good. I do too. Yeah. And I do think this still looks pretty good. Oh, like, great. I would have never known. Yeah. You so, crazy. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. And sometimes it's not even so much thought. It's like, oops, I guess I should have, I didn't start on the right size needle. And then it turns out okay. Mm. You know, as you knit sweaters and whatever, different things happen. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be a conscious decision. It can be like a... I've made that decision for oops. the bottom ribbing. Yeah. Where I just don't want it to go in at all. I, just... I almost never go down a needle size on the bottom ribbing. Only yeah. because that's the way I like the fit of my sweaters. So smart. No. Just... Just... Uh, Knowledgeable. Preference. No, just personal preference, right? And that's no big deal. I think I did it once where the ribbing was like, I don't like that snugness. To me, it makes a poochy fabric and I pooch myself. So it's like, 
<laughs> I just want the straight fit, yeah. you know? Um, Jody Brown, what are you wearing? Uh, the Stockholm slipover. Oh. <laughs> And I meant to do this. I must have got distracted because I wanted to do this this morning and didn't. The Stockholm Slipover by uh, Petite Knit. <gasps> you guys, let me just Hey, you know you. how you love my pink one? That's yeah. the same pattern. Ah, are you sure you knit that one? Because this no. one goes way out. She's it's got not other that. ones. It's not that. It's She's not. got other ones. It's Is not. this the weekend slipover? Yeah. I think so. Uh, Hang on. Take a peek at that. Um, oh my God, I didn't even look that closely. Um, the weekend, because there's weekend and then weekend V neck, and I think you've knit them both. This is the weekend. Oh my God. Wake up, Jody. You, who you are you? Them? How do you remember this shit? I don't know. I'm saying it's a sweater, and I'm looking at the photo, and it's not even the same sweater. No, uh, and the reason I suspected this is because I would like to knit this, and I know the shape is different. Mm. Right? Isn't this good? Yes. So you'll notice I did the ribbing for the collar about half as long as... I just felt with my hot flashes, I just thought being always really warm, I didn't mm -hmm. want the extra fabric here. But this is like a boxy, kind of oversized, relaxed... See? Yeah, I love it. It's square. It's got this really Show nice... Us. Oh, yeah. Show us your underarm. There's the D. Oops, the decrease. It's you're good. It's just like the V um it, here. Oh, it's just like the V on the V neck. Like you It looks so nice. Like it's not just the curve underneath. She's giving you that that center point with a nice yeah. little It's just a little detail, but I feel like all of those things add up. And then being square, it kind of just lays beautiful. Uh, it's such a nice Jody, it looks shape. awesome. I on. love it. Um and your yarn? This is fingering a mohair. It is our yarn, but I don't remember the colorway. I can look it up if anyone's asking. I forget. Where are you going to figure it? It's not like you have a project page, so where are you going to look that up? It's not Weekend Getaway because that, that doesn't have the, the teal in it, but it's like yeah, something like that. It's yeah. like it's its sister. It's, it's Amber Dashery and Weekend Getaway if they had a baby. I love it. Jordan will know. It's a great, oh yeah, for sure Jordan will know. Jordan will know. But um, this was such, a, you guys, when you don't have sleeves, let me tell you. And it's like, you don't need a ton, like you need a couple of skeins yep. of each mohair and fingering, yep. and that's plenty for lots and lots of sizes, right? Yeah. It is a nice open fabric, you can see. The gauge, let me tell you guys. So the gauge for this, um, 15 stitches. Yeah, how nice. I think that's the same for this one, to be honest. Mm. Um, so it's, it's I, like, ever since we knit the love note, thank you, Tin Can Knits, that gauge, to me, is just like, I feel like you can whip out a sweater or a, or a slipover even so faster. So let me tell you, this is, says Aaron and Lace held together for a bulky fabric. This is not that fabric. So what I had to do is I knit a swatch with a six millimeter needle because I know on a six millimeter needle, fingering a mohair gets me about 16 stitches. Okay. So then I had to just do a tiny bit of math um, to get it. But I like how you say that, tiny bit of math. Don't, but don't be thrown off when you see bulky and think, yeah. oh, I'm not gonna knit a bulky sweater. Yeah. You can get a gauge. You. This would be, I think people would also love this with a DK <laughs> and a fluffy lace weight mohair or surrey. I think those patterns that have a very large gauge give you tons of room to play with yarn. You Staycation. Can... Okay. God, I'm sorry for interrupting No, that's you. awesome. We, we all want to know. Staycation. I, there, this yarn, you guys, in person, it's all these beautiful like rays and teals, but there's little pops of hot pink. It's such a beautiful color. And it's it's way nicer in person. Like it's, it's gorgeous. Sorry. No. It's like I... But I don't you think with those large gauge yes. sweats? So yeah. you could knit this with worsted weight. Say you've got some worsted weight wool at home. You can get the, the gauge. Yes. Maybe you need to add more hair. Maybe you don't. Like you can get all kinds of different fabrics. And the ranunculus is like that too. Mm. Very large gauge. And she says from lace weight to Aran. 
It's whatever you can get. Whatever, play with the needles and yarns in between there to get that gauge. You have so many options. Mm -hmm. So I think even DK and, and mohair would be really easy to get this gauge. Easy. Yeah. Easy, easy. But I love, I love I it. I love it. In fingering weight and mohair. And it feels like wearing a sweatshirt, but like mm. as a knitter, you like to wear knits, right? Mm -hmm. So this is not overheating. No. No. You should make one with the Surrey cashmere. Mm -hmm. I want to make this Stockholm slip over. The vest. The vest where it's just a little more fitted. Right. Make it. Yeah. What's stopping you? Mm. I should have maybe shot for Let's that. Let's pick a color. Yeah. Are we going to have a knit along? I know we have to do it. The problem is we're going away right away and we should announce something. Should we announce? We'll think about we, it before the we end We sort of, of have something um, planned as a collaborative knit along and I we have to have to contact her and see what dates are, but maybe we could, you know, put it out there before we go and then talk about it when we get back. Should we, let's name something today so we can just open a thread. No, doesn't matter. I just was wondering. I know. I love it, too. I love it, too. Yeah. Um, but, Jody, I love it. And you loved knitting that, I remember. Mm. Right? Because you're building it like a... Yeah. Like a... Start at the back. Come over. Like a drop shoulder. Yes. The V-neck was just as fun. Totally. Yeah. It's beautiful. I don't know. I feel like you don't wear it enough. I feel like I don't wear it enough, either. And... Don't Not... Don't ask for me to do it on sparkle because I don't have a sparkle base anymore. Do, is this sparkle? Oh, yes. Well, maybe sometime of the year, maybe that'll change. I know. Maybe you'll bring in sparkle for the fall or whatever. Who knows? I do love sparkle. I love it. And I love the gold sparkle for some reason a mm, lot. Mm -hmm. you, I have a skein still and you're like, oh my God. I the, gold bring in it, the gold is much prettier on the base than the silver i think it's pretty glam yeah it's it's pretty it's a little more bold yeah. i think yeah i like it listen i would knit myself a sparkle sweater yeah i totally would who oh. wouldn't oh my god you guys totally. don't get okay. us started on sparkles what's next um i have a new cast on let's see um okay okay yeah Jody, you haven't even seen this yet. And it's funny that we're talking about necklines and big gauges. What are Because I doing? am knitting the ranunculus. I am knitting my third ranunculus. And all of these little papers are from the other versions that I've knit. How do you keep, where did you go to find those? Oh, these sizes? These notes. Was, was it on your Ravelry page? What do you mean? Like, did you actually have those notes from the last time you yeah, made it? And yeah. Where did you have those? They that, were just stuck to the pattern. How did you? Where did like you I'm keep only your pattern? A, uh, just in. I've got this little Mine are bookshelf. Rash. By the but time I, I'm done. This is a big pattern. This is a lot of pages, yeah. and I thought to myself, I know I'm gonna knit this again. So, 15 pages. So I just tucked it away. I yeah. like to knit from a paper pattern, but now I've got these version so I'm just sort of knitting any modifications or whatever the yarn so was nice. or whatever so I did show last time um how much I loved this Legro lamb's wool that we picked up at Statement Junkie here in Edmonton or Sherwood Park I guess um can you see all those little bits of the tweed right in the wool I just cannot even so I'm not normally someone that leans to brown but you can see goldy green in there, and there's so much of this blue. Like, that's the main little pop It's almost that you like indigo-ish purple. It is. <gasps> yeah, so totally. Good. So I, I originally bought this thinking I was going to make one pattern, and then when I got home, like, I bought all five balls. They did not have more. And so I had to do oh. a little bit of a pivot as far as pattern goes, but that's okay because I've knit the ranunculus twice as a summer knit mm. one's three quarter sleeve in linen and one is short sleeve in kind of a linen-y in a bright peach actually it's quite cute i love it but i've always wanted a woolly ranunculus but you keep saying it's shiny i don't like that i don't would not choose that yarn again mm -hmm. but i love the color oh it's amazing it did have some kind of like a 
I don't know what part of it makes it, and it's, it's like plasticky shiny. It's not like sequiny shiny. It it's was not, it's not like good shiny. To me, I it, it feels weird. Anyway, here we go. This is my woolly ranunculus. You've gotten so far. Well, because I'm knitting it on like a 5.5 millimeter needle. So, <gasps> you're going to have a whole new damn wardrobe to go away. Listen, this stuff, this kind of woolen spun, light as a feather yarn. Obsessed. It is my, one of my favorite things to knit a sweater in. It's so warm and yet light as a feather. This is like an Aran weight yarn and normally that would feel pretty heavy, mm. right? Like I'm not knitting a small sweater here. Um, so it just feels like nothing. It feels like nothing. With but, being woolen spun. Wow. The color work really pop. Like, it's really amazing the different characteristics a wool has. Can we see the pop? Can you see yes. the little flex? Yeah. And how the wool behaves when it's in a lace pattern. Yes. Look at this stuff pop out. Oh, the texture for sure. So this kind of like, wow. instead of fingering and mohair where it's very loose and open, it's going to look a certain way. This is a crisper, right? When it's all wool and it's a bigger yarn um and there was lots of i didn't want like normally this is a eyelet row this the this section right here in the pattern these are four eyelets big yarn over i actually wondered what sweater has those bobbles okay so i did not want a winter sweater that had big open eyelets across the front because then i'm forced to wear something underneath it and i really just didn't want that. Mm -hmm. And lots of patterns, if they have baubles in them, they'll just say, designers will write a note. Because it's very polarizing. A lot of people don't mm -hmm. love baubles. So that I've seen patterns where they go, oh, just do a yarn over instead of the bauble. So I did the reverse. I did baubles instead of yarn overs. Um, I actually love it. I'm a bauble girl all day long. I love it. Um, if you're also going to do consider doing this, the first row of um, your yarn overs is actually your increase for that row. So I didn't realize that or think about it until a couple of rows later. But you're going to need to increase somewhere in between your baubles. Can you just add an extra row? Like just do the one row increase and then the next row? I feel row? like as long as you do your increase somewhere in here, like I'm just a couple of rows later. I got the right number of stitches a couple of rows later. That's all. Yeah. Um, so I just didn't think of it as I was doing that row, mm. but I think if I did it again, I would do bobble and then I would do an invisible increase in the middle here. Nice. Because you don't want to throw off. You don't want to do it in between here because you need your, your bobbles to stack exactly on top of each other. You need stitches. Of course. So if you put <gasps> four yes. stitches in here, you won't have a middle, right? Like it needs to stay three stitches in there or whatever it is. Um, I can't even tell you how much I'm loving knitting this. Were you like, oh my God, these baubles are amazing. I love them. I, you know I love texture. And in wool, I oh. knew they would just kind of pop. Um, some people, and I'm one of them, had an issue with my neckline on my ranunculus. Yes. I feel like it's very big and open. Even even doing what they said, What um, this is a pattern by Mendori Hirose. Mm-hmm. And it's just gigantic. Everybody, I feel like everybody has knows the ranunculus. Um, so what I did is instead of the options in the pattern, I added 10 stitches and just used a long tail cast on. And What do you mean added 10 stitches? Well, I, I just, um, yeah, I added 10 stitches to the cast on at the neckline, right but, at the neckline. But you said... The neck was I know, too big. I don't, because I did this, the cast-ons in the pattern, there's a tubular cast-on and also this other stretchy cast-on where you're doing kind of a yarn over in between every stitch. And to me, my experience has been, I just haven't had good luck with it. So this is my third time doing it. I thought I would just try something different. Um, and so I did not use any kind of math whatsoever. It was kind of like, I'm going to cast this on and then put it on, put the put it on and see if I like the fit. And that's what it did for me. I could have even gone eight stitches extra. You want to go an even number, of course, because it's a one by one. Just rib. a minute. You're 
adding extra stitches to the but that's but I did not bigger. but I did not add the yarn overs I did not do a stretchy cast on oh okay so the tubular cast on and the this other one I believe is is a stretchy one I've tried both of those so whatever if something doesn't work for you just try but the, so logically even just not doing those stretchy cast on why would you think to add more stitches? Because I didn't want, because I didn't do the stretch, stretchy cast Got on. It. Okay. So I was going to require more circumference, mm. but not okay. as much stretch as yes. those stitches were going to give me. So I just kind of thought, okay, let's just try adding 10 stitches and see how it goes. Because after the ribbing, there is an increased row with a bigger number. So I did my mine with my new number with plus 10 so I only needed to increase so basically you're going to have to figure out how to do your increase I needed to increase 20 stitches after my collar instead of 30 got it so, so keep in mind. just keep in mind that you do need to end up with a certain number and it sounds confusing but this is it's a not... paid for pattern so I'm not giving numbers anywhere so I added 10 stitches up here and then I had to figure out how to evenly do my increase but it's not, it's not hard. Yeah. It's not hard. And then, then Bob's your uncle. Off you go. Just follow the pattern. Long tail cast on. Long tail cast extra on. Extra stitches. Plus okay. 10 on a smaller needle. Smaller I did use needle. a smaller needle. Then asked for in the pattern? Just, I went down one needle size from my gauge mm. needle. Okay. So I'm knitting on a 5.5. This is, I did a five millimeter for the collar. Love it. I actually love it. It turned out to be pretty much... Will it be short sleeve? No. I actually did buy two more skeins of this color because I'm Is it a little bit freaking out because I've used two. I, am, I have three left. I feel like this can't be enough yarn. But Is um, it the same or is it has it arrived? No, it hasn't arrived yet. It is not the same dye lot. So I'll have to do helical knitting or cross my finger I don't well, know maybe you'll see and it's almost perfect we'll see we'll see I've never used this yarn before so I don't know but it is commercial oh, yarn so, yeah so I feel like my chances are good and I'm probably wrong this is probably enough yarn and I'm gonna have now two extra balls love it trust I could do a hat for my husband or whatever oh it's amazing but I I would make 10 sweaters in this yarn and so this is by Bichet Bouge. It's Le Gros Lamb's Wool. And then they have Le Lamb's Wool, which is worsted, lighter than this. And then Le Petit Lamb's Wool, which is like fingering weight. Mm. Yeah. Kind of like, and this gives me the feeling of Brooklyn Tweed. Mm. If you like that, um, I love it. I love it so much. Yeah. So, so, so much. Yeah, it's turning out great. So this is my like main... I'm just going to watch Netflix while you talk. You do that. You do that, Jody. Um, I knew this would make an amazing, this color. You have to get some of this yarn, Jody. You will love it. I feel like it's like your Gilead that Here's you the loved. Thing, and I don't know if there's more, there's more colors online. What really struck me is that the little bits in here, the other, not I many have that. hundred percent agree. I... All the oh, that's the only reason I bought this blue or the the brown is because it had so much variation in color. I wish the whole line had that. Me too. Yeah, I totally agree. I was thinking the same thing. Like, so, but there's lots of other yarns that are like that kind of tweedy. But this is like, this is the kind of tweed that is like carded into the wool. Like it's not oh, no, going to come out. No. Yeah, I love it. Which is why it kind of reminds me of Brooklyn tweed. That mm, way, right? That's so good. Yeah. Super fun. Um, should we talk about a dicky? Uh, all day long. Okay, you guys. All day this long. This is called the Jolly Neck Warmer by Yun Jiang. Am I saying her name right? Yun sure. Jiang. I feel like that might be close. But Look. let's go with no. Look, <laughs> probably. Ah! Just a minute. Um, you guys. I saw that. Dirty. How cute is this pom pom? Yeah. And the ribbing, like that's a really sleek looking. She's calling it a neck warmer. Mm. Yes. You can put lipstick on a pig. Um, I love it. I think this is so cute. I would knit that. Okay, maybe I'm coming around to the, the this. 
I, I tell you, I, I wasn't the convert that I am now until I wore it. And it was... Yeah. And people were telling me how much they liked my sweater. Liked your dick. Dickies. Like they're like, oh, I love your sweater. Oh, okay. thank you. Like, yeah, yeah. It's actually um, only half. <laughs> it's a flap. But yeah, neck warmer is a good word. Neck warmer, collar, There's whatever you want to call version. it. There's also a kid's version. You guys, she is a beautiful designer. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, hello vest. Oh, I love the detail on that. That's just a little pop in the back, you guys. What do you think? Intarja? Yes, for sure. Just a little vest. Oh my gosh, that's <gasps> beautiful. Wow. I love that kind of minimalist design. But there's a bit of a twist. Like, it's still special. I love that kind of classic shape. One of my favorite things to do, you guys, before I come to the podcast, is go through all the new patterns and things that come out. I it know. just gives me so much inspiration just to hop onto Ravelry and... It does. I could not yeah. agree more. Um, Ginny says, in our winter climate, these kind of projects are yeah. great in your winter coat. Listen, you don't need to tell me. Tell her. Yeah. No. Um, I agree. I agree. Sorry. I totally could not agree more. Okay. Oh, I'll give you an update on my sweater, you guys. So I'm knitting. I am knitting. I'm just going to drink my coffee. Um, the Port Sweater by Ozetta, who is Haley Smedley. Um, if you guys remember, it's got really beautiful little ribbing here on the drop shoulder before you pick up your stitches. It's got like the longer ribbing for the, the bottom of your sweater. I'm Are you going to do that? Are you yeah. going to stick it? Yeah, I feel like it's totally worth the time. That extra ribbing looks so beautiful. I am knitting. I love her designs. What is the end of my... Oh. I am knitting it in Sonder Yarn DK in their undyed, which is called... Offline. Offline. Yeah. And then I am knitting um, Frankie Gray Fiber in their um, Majestic Fluff, holding it together. What color would that be? Stone. Okay. We haven't listed it yet, but we will. It's it's going to be... It's a new color. Um, That's a great name for that color. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Jody, I'm obsessed with this. What I did. I did. Um, I did join in the round. That's awesome. By a little bit. And now you're going to just zoom when you can just keep knitting like that. Well, I feel like can you get two inches done a day? It depends how much you're, you're gonna in knit. The evening. It's not even so much about how fast of a knitter you are. It's like how much time do you have, right. or how much time are you able to give it. So like your sweater, it like looks a little bit like, you know, like it's... I'm going to want to rip this right and steal it <gasps> right off of you. I'm going to have to knit something like this. Oh, the mar marled kind of um, yes. look. It's natural, very natural, very grayish, topish. You guys, I'm going to love it. And then this, once it's blocked, is the ribbing here. I can't... Okay. I love it to the moon, like so much. I can't yes. even tell you. I'm a little surprised at your color choice. I feel like you don't go this route very often. So I love that you've done it. I feel like I really wanted something very neutral. Yeah. Which isn't me for my knitting normally, but geez, that's, I, I don't know. It's I felt like, like it, you was wear. it was, miss it was missing in my wardrobe. Yeah. I, oh, let me tell you, this color. I'm having the most fun. I love this color. It's grayish. There it is. This color is grayish. <gasps> That's it's a good gray, name. but it's heathered. That's it's definitely such got a like good a name. mushroomy thing, gray and brown together. It's funny together. you say that because our color taupe and our older color fun guy were very close together, and we thought for that color we're gonna just keep one and we kept taupe but this is fun guy at a very low yeah low percentage like of dye 
I love it. So it's funny you say that, that it's like mushroomy. Like it's so not it's... tan and it's not no. gray. It is like a mix of the two. It... And I, fi I feel like it's very, it's a beautiful, beautiful neutral. And it's funny you think, well, it's kind of gray. It is what it is. Grayish. But there's so many variations you can get in that color world, right? So we'll have it on all the bases. I just have it to get the other bases dyed up so we can photograph That's it. That's exciting. Which I might do maybe today even. I, I, it's just awesome, Jody. I, I, I couldn't love, love it. it anymore. And you were thinking about doing a pop of something, yes? Well, I was thinking of doing a pop of something, and I've put in here our um, citron color. So I was thinking you cast on, but then you do, but yes, maybe you obviously cast off with it. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see what you feel like that day. I think either way, it's going to be awesome. I feel like I might not. Yeah. This was another color Jordan suggested to do the pop. It's so that would be like your eyes almost. Yeah, that would be really nice. I don't know how I'm going to incorporate this or if at all. I also think you cannot go wrong with black. Oh my god! Because you like to wear a lot of black. Black and this is so sharp together. I dyed the majestic fluff on black. That would and that's like a dark. It looks like a super dark charcoal. I mean, I think that's... I also dyed the offline color in black as well. So that's what I have here. Okay. So I do think that's really 99 sharp. 99% of my wardrobe it's is black. Day, right. So this was, I feel like, will slip into your wardrobe effortlessly. You don't need any extra color. You can do the whole thing in one yeah. color. But... I don't think I can do that. I could think if it, this is going to be that neutral, I think it, I'm going to add something. Yeah. Which... And to me, it's like... I love ne neons. I love brights. Yeah. I love black. I love this kind of stone color. But maybe like, this moment isn't for this. Maybe. Yeah. I totally agree. I think it might be the black. I actually considered adding this color to this sweater. Oh, yes. It's just they're meant to go together. Yes. But I have an extra skein of everything left. That's the nice thing about these sweaters at a bigger gauge. You don't need as much yarn as you would normally need. Yeah. It's shocking. This is the Surrey um, Levincello. Oh, so pretty. Um, so good. So I am going to I'm going to make a sock pattern and it's going to have some minis and it's going to mm. be eucalyptus is the main color with some fun Ooh, pops. I love that. Yeah. Kim votes for the black. Yeah, I think it might be the black. It you know what? You have a whole sweater that's a color like this. TBD. And I it's, agree. It's like you I, have to do the thing that you love the most. Don't listen to anybody this else. Is, this is where I'm leaning. I just feel like sometimes when you do something black and kind of, I don't know, I don't know if it's polished the right word, but you can get more, like you can wear it more places sometimes. Yeah. This can be your dress up sweater. <laughs> kind of. But so do you funny. know what I mean? Yeah, I totally know. So that's kind of where I'm thinking I, I'm going with but this. But you can do whatever you want because it's your sweater yeah. and that is the <sighs> best part about making our it, own clothes. This, this offline Sonder color Navy is Navy so would also be amazing because then it would go so great with jeans. Yeah. But it's also beautiful just by itself. Thank you. I, I'm just having so much fun. Now I'm at the point where... I need to do actually, something Actually, it's like funny. That. I went to get x-rays before because I go to the bone and, bone and joint next week clinic. But I got stuck without knitting again. Jody, that's the worst. Yeah. I took Georgia for an appointment and I like... Did you get stuck? No. Oh, yeah. I brought knitting. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. But I mean, you could... I, you do kind of end up... Like if you have your phone, you end up working on your phone or whatever. I but just answered it's emails. It's really nice to have that like... Mm whatever, like 20 or 30 minutes mm. to, to have that's a knitting break. Was. Yeah, that's really nice. I could have gotten four more inches on my sweater. At least. You could be done. How come you're not bound off yet? Oh, my God. That's I, so funny. I two, Twice I've knit on this sweater since So I my left. advice is to just forget about everything else and just knit that. Mm -hmm. Because I think... I can do that. You're going to wear it so Two much. and a half weeks, you guys, done. Before we go, done. I could literally not go... Quite trying to think I mean I could probably go this weekend I'm I feel like I'm very ready mm -hmm. I've been trying to get ready for our trip earlier um we're going to Ireland with the knit social retreat mm -hmm. it is like a dream trip this is a bucket list trip. this is totally bucket list this is you know take pictures of everything because it's just going to be 
it's going to be amazing. I'm so excited to meet the other knitters on the trip. And then our husbands are coming. But our husbands are going a week early to golf. Does anybody have husbands that want to golf? Yes. It's funny because we leave. Our, our starts on April 1st for 10 days. The boys come April 3rd. I know. It was earlier than I thought. Just like the, because of flights, it worked out yes. that way. But they're thrilled. I mean, it is also bucket list for them. They're major. Um, they're just going to have a blast. So we won't see them for the, that 10 days. No. We're I guess we're a, meeting together for dinner in yes, Galloway. Apparently. I did not evening. know that. But, but like, we're doing our own thing. They're doing their own yeah. thing. And so they've planned a whole week of golf. But they were just kind of like... Why didn't you shout out if there's other husbands that golf? Is there recommendations of people who would, who are golfing that would recommend a course for them to golf? Anyway. So. Yeah, we have an email if anybody wants to reach out. Um, when we, when my husband and I were in Scotland, he ended up, well, he was by himself. So whenever he would go to a course, he would get matched up with, with people. And he, it was his favorite thing. And I came He's a home. talker. He loves people. Yeah. Um, and loves golf. So it's yeah. like they're your it's like we go to a knitting store. Yes. He's going to a golf course. Those are his people. Yeah. He loves that. Oh yeah, I never thought about it. Like it's that. totally like that. Like he just feels like you already have so much in common sure. with, with these people. And I mean, he has amazing memories from these two guys that he ended up meeting and golfed with and had dinner with. And so it's just like when we go somewhere to knit. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm excited to see. For them. I'm excited for them. As, as excited oh. for us, I'm as as excited for them. And can I tell you, I'm just along for the ride. Like, her Tracy's husband, Jeff, in his next life should be a trip planner. Well. Because we've said the destination and, like, we don't care where we go after yeah. what we do, where we stop first. He's done all of the... I think it's really, like not as so bad like when you've never been somewhere we've ne we haven't seen anything well we can go anywhere because yeah. Yeah, you know true. none of us have seen anything um but i was looking at this itinerary that he is planning and one of the things is like a woolen mill i was like oh <laughs> that's awesome yes or is that incognito for you go to the woolen mill i don't we'll know get in a quick nine i don't know what that is but okay, that's amazing um but our only request was to make sure that we got some time in Cork so that we could possibly go to Hedgehog Fibers. And that is also part of the bucket list. We've Don't made... you remember? Years no. ago, Jody. Years ago. Say, we were, can you imagine? We were doing the Hedgehog Fiber Clubs, and it's like, oh, did you know they're based in Cork? Oh, my gosh. If we ever went to Cork, we it would be a dream to go there. And it is a dream to go there. So we'll see what happens. But... Um, um, it's a we're we reached super out fortunate. and we I didn't know they had a is it a retail space I have no idea anyway so a we, showroom she called it okay good so I don't know what that means um it means I'm game yeah so anyway we're so you guys we're totally gonna bring you with us you will you will see stuff in our stories um and we will you know especially on the knitting end of it because we're going to go all kinds of cool places and we'll I wonder if we should maybe do an Instagram live somewhere cuz we'll have some time I, f I wonder if we should like like 10 minutes a day an Instagram live yes i would yes i would love like it like every day the time like 10 change minutes. is weird and most people probably or lots of people We'll just catch it later, but it's something we could just put on our grid for whenever people have if time. If we do it later in the day, then it could be early here. Like, people could still catch it. Yeah. But... Anyway, it's it's something that we're beyond excited about, and we're going to bring you with us as much as we can um, because that's that's a huge part of, part of it. I love it. Yeah. Okay, next. Yeah. What's next? Uh, Jody. speaking of neck warmers, collars. Oh my God, and it matches. This is, this is my pattern, Juniper Bandana Cowl, that was part of our winter kit with Grocery Girls this year, and I finally published it, you guys. It is on Ravelry now. I, I don't know what took me so long. Tracy. This is all Frankie it's Gray so Fibers good. yarn. It was a really fun cowl to knit. It's a bottom up bandana cowl. So you knit flat from the point and you add some stripes. It's DK weight yarn. 
It's so good. You add some stripes and then you join in the round and you do this really fun um, textured stitch. It's still, you're basically just knitting in stripes, but this one, you've got two strands of DK weight yarn held and you knit each strand individually. And so then it makes it, a little... This is um, the same texture that Jody has in her hat and it's all Saturday hat and it's also in the Saturday mm. sweater. What is it? Sweet Saturday yeah. by Kelly Fowler. So we've all kind of incorporated this um, texture pattern that is so much fun to knit. And then you've got a broken rib and some stripes up here. I did that Italian sewn bind off because I just love the way it looks. And it's right in your face. And it's stretchy. Like yeah. it's a stretchy bind off. Um, and I just think it looks really, really cute. So the pattern's on Ravelry, Juniper Bandana Cowl, DK. Um, it's 15% off till Sunday night, so you can get a discount. Um, this was one of my other prototypes. This is all Frankie Ray Fibers yarn. Okay, it was this... one scan, skein of DK and five minis. So that you, you only use half our the minis. Shop is full of five pack mini sets. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So, but I adore Jody. This, this is this so good. This is Chick Flick. Yeah. Big, Big Apple. Big Apple. Indigo. Maybe. What's um, this? Lavender Haze. And then Grasshopper. Yeah. And the background color is Phantom. Yes, Phantom. Thank you. Um, but I do think this is one of those things you can totally play with any color. You can do it in one contrast can I color. Can try this one on, please? And you can do it, I'm dying to see someone do it in fingering and mohair as the main color. Mm. I think I might do it myself. And then DK stripes. DK merino, but the fingering and mohair background. Because this is just cozy. Yeah, it's not too big. It doesn't fall off. It's, it's a nice weight. And then the pattern has you do a tassel, yay or nay. Yeah. Some people are pro tassel. Some people aren't. Yeah. Um, but it is, it was a really fun knit. I think a little something here. I don't know. I mean, I you that. don't That's really fun. need it. You don't but need if it. you love it, it's pretty cute. <gasps> These colors. And even for spring. Like, there's a lot of us that have the chillier springs. This is not too hot still. No. So, it's published. Nice. Thank you, Jody. It's so beautiful. Thank you. I love it. So, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And so now all the people that bought the kit at Christmas. Oh, I don't think I put that code in Ravelry yet. Don't try and download your free digital copy yet. Oh, no. You can do it later. Uh, today. It will be done today. I was going to say, now they can all do that. But um, no, don't do it yet. No. After no, today. Okay. It will be uh, live. So... Madison's not watching, so I can show these and talk about them. But I did a, a pair for her birthday. Oh. You guys might, might remember the tube. I did show you guys the tube before. It's amazing, Do you remember? Jody. This is Gage Dye Works. I can see. Do you remember this color? Well, no. Um, I don't remember this color either. I could probably look it up. But this was the whole skein. If you guys can see, it starts with this amazing... Um, berry dark dark merlot berry color i'm gonna find it for you and it fades in some pink and some blue and then it fades back out and then it finishes in green it's dyed like it reminds me of all together now which was a rainbow a full right. rainbow but this is this it looks similar in the way the colors are but it's totally different colors so it's amazing and i had a skein of gauge dye works in um wildflower oh this is wildflower pretty sure wildflower um so i actually pulled this this is a stripe from another gauge dye work skein these are both stripes yes wildflower fade it's called isn't that phenomenal this is a one-way trip where the one skein got you one direction there's a thing there's other skeins that are two-way where it you you'll be able to get two socks in this like it's two repeats yes yeah, so repeats. for this you can do um like some people do that a um, muscle burrow hat or a cowl or what i mean the socks yeah. are awesome too but when you get the two way you get two full repeats if you really need matching socks i personally don't think you need matching socks so i love, I love the, this the fraternal socks me too 
and then just kind of kind of kind of matched I put the green with the green and then the pink with the pink and then um, the toe was with the same yarn um, somebody said what machine do we use we use an Erlbacher Gerhardt Speedster and you can get lot Jody's doing this on a 48 stitch cylinder for DK weight socks I'm gonna show you one that's I do on a 64 stitch cylinder and I hang the hem right on the cylinder as I'm going. And it's like beautiful. Like it's seamless, you guys. Yeah. I do about 25-ish stitches or rows and fold it in half. So it's about 20, 12. So it's about 12 or 13 per side, right? Yeah. Rounds for yeah. the... It's such a nice looking sock. I just watched um, Jen Geigley has yes. a YouTube channel and she has a Dean and Bean sock machine. Mm. It's like a bright yellow mm -hmm. um, 3D Ooh. printed yes. machine. But she just went to a crank in that was like right by her house. Oh. So, oh, I wish we had something like that locally. I would love to do it one time for sure. But she said, you know, lots of people go that are like brand newbies and everybody's kind of around. And if you have questions, it's like... It's like being at sort of like a class, sort of working at your own pace. And some people are masters, some people are new. I would love to You can learn. learn all kinds of stuff from people mm -hmm. that you didn't even have any idea about. It's a whole other craft, right? This sock machine, learning how to make socks. I would. And there's other things you can make. I have a ribber. I've never used right, it. Right, right. Ditto. No, I don't have a ribber. Yeah, I think I have a ribber. I yes, I do, do have Jordan. a ribber. Yeah. I mean, that's how bad it is. Anyway. I would love I would love to learn how to use a ribber. Me too. I can just YouTube it. No, I, still... you know, it's harder. I've tried it because you're, everything is inside. Like once you put the ribbing thing on, everything's, it's not you like you can see it. see it. Yeah. Anyway, I would love it. Anyway, Jody, those are beautiful. I do, I spent some time on my sock machine this last couple of weeks and I just love it. I love it so I much. I love it. Somebody said... You know, yes, they are expensive. And I said, I totally agree. Yes. I totally agree. Um, you know, but if it's ever something that you would like to save up for, I I could not recommend the machine we have more. Mm -hmm. I will have to will it to someone. It is built so well. Yes, that's true. It's it's a one time for many. And now this way I can make socks for as many people as I want with that's the real luxury of it for me. Yeah, so I, and I'll talk about this color in a minute, but I do this now. I do two fold, um, folded or hung hem, and then I leave it, unless it's for me. But that I had that tube, and I was able to pick pull those two done, because I knew Maddie would love that. Yeah. That's where I stop now. Yeah. And then cut in the afterthought heel and then the toe. Yeah, so we combine all of that. You can learn to do the short rows on the machine. You can do the whole thing yeah. on the machine. Um, we used to, years and years ago, through the local yarn shop, we would buy yarn and wind it into a ball and give it to a lady that had a sock machine and she would make a full pair and... For 20 bucks. Right. Oh my gosh. And they were amazing. Not enough. And they were amazing. Marianne, we never paid you enough. Marianne. She was amazing. Yeah. Okay, so or do you have more? You want to tell us that? I love no, that color. Later. later. I My son had a birthday, like I said, and he requested as a birthday gift a pair of socks. He's only ever over the years had one pair, and he never asked for them. But now that he's been wearing them, he's like, I love those socks. Like, if you're if you have time, I would love another pair of socks. So, like a crazy person, I cranked tubes for three pairs of socks, thinking, you know, in a few days I could get these done for him. But life is busy, so it didn't happen. But I will get them done. So, this is the tube that I have for his next pair. Are you going to put fun heels and toes? Um, I don't know what or I'm going to do. fun as Jackson likes it? So, yesterday he came over for dinner wearing his mm. new pair of socks, and they fit like a dream. If you do do this, like I have a little notebook for how long that I did everything for yeah. people. And it's, I always just can go back. I'm never going to remember. It's uh, the same thing I've keep done. Keep it on your phone in the notes. I, it's just a little notebook I have yeah. by my machine. 
Um, so this is my hung ham. It's so neat and tidy. The yarn I used for this one is new oh, that's to me. I would knit a sweater in this yarn. I love it so much. It's by, um, it's called Flot Sock. So it's, um, I believe it's a German brand. It's a commercial sock yarn, 75% superwash, oh, virgin beautiful. wool. It's beautiful, it's you guys. It's soft. And then 25% polyamide. This does not feel like non, this does not feel like superwash to me. I would knit a me. sweater in that. Jody, it's got this heathered quality. Yes. This color is probably just a number. <gasps> 2155 oh, is nice. the, but it's a DK weight skein of yarn, 150 grams and 375 meters or 410 yards. Oh, that's nice. So usually with DK, like a regular DK, if you're knitting a long sock or someone that has big feet, you would probably break into a second skein. Mm -hmm. You don't need that with this. And boy, this is such nice yarn. Well, that's so great that you don't need a second. It, what I So the first, so the pair that I made him first is also a new to me yarn. These were both from the Fiber Nook here in Edmonton. Um, this one is by Gathering Yarn. Gathering Yarn which is a Canadian brand. They have really cool yarns. Ross is amazing. Actually, she was so excited when I was there last time. They had some new South African. She's South African. Yeah. So they had some... No, she's Australian. Sorry, Australian. Sorry, I'm mixing that up. She had the most amazing South African yarn she had just gotten in. Yeah, that's cool, right? Mm -hmm. Did you know most of the mohair in the world comes from South Africa? No, I just learned that last week. It's shocking, but kind of a fun trivia thing. Um, this So this one is Gathering yarns in their six ply it's actually a sock yarn it's 60 percent fine highland wool easy wash 20 percent fine alpaca easy wash and 20 percent nylon and easy wash is a more environmentally friendly way to super wash wool mm. the regular super wash is a very like ammonia heavy or mm. something like that it's very it's not good for the environment at all okay so if you see something that's easy wash, it's much better for the environment. I hope more yarn companies do that. But so this is a wool alpaca nylon. Can I feel that, please? This is amazing. Again, it's all heathered. I would make a sweater in this yarn, 100%. You guys, this is beautiful. And it was also super affordable. Is it DK? It was, yep. This is DK? Yep. So how Wool many, alpaca nylon. Did you put your, how many stitches did you put on your sock? These are 64. And a DK. Yeah. And they, in a tighter, so it's a tighter gauge, but it's very, sure. but he, they fit him really well. Good. And Jeff likes them a lot too. <gasps> so this is Look a this, 265 Heather, meters. So this length of sock, which basically is a three inch leg, my son likes shorter legs on the socks. Um, it used up that whole skein, so there's not very much left. Plus, I did the heels and toes in this. Mm. Just the toe. The heel I did in the green. They were super cute socks. I didn't take any pictures or anything. Um, so I'm hoping to have these done for him. And now that he's only ever had two pairs of socks, I'll just make him some. Mm. Everybody else has had tons. Mm -hmm. But I like using new to me yarns. You guys, these two are spectacular feeling. They're sweater quality feeling totally. yarn. And I've never done a sock yarn that had nylon um, alpaca. You guys, you can't really tell. You a little. There's a teeny tiny halo, but it's not super fuzzy. But it's a beautiful yarn. It's almost. And it said like this one is milled in greens. Peru. Oh, it's milled beautiful. in Peru. Oh, it's beautiful. Anyway, love Just it. Beautiful. Highly recommend. Easy wash. No resins or acids used. Eco-friendly. But still machine washable. Yeah. So, which I think is really important when you're knitting for other people. I do too. Like, they're never going to know. So give them the stuff. Or be wanting or willing to... Care for like it. how like devastating for someone to feel terrible to shrink or felt something just give them super wash all the time yeah even though i've got lots of yarns i love that are not super wash for gifts yeah this is this is the way i yeah go. yeah love that. jody i can't even so i showed this yarn last time you guys this was from 
ginger snap. This yeah. was their beautiful marled DK sock yarn. That is a big ass sock. That's Shane Brown. Um, and then I used uh, parchment for the heels and toes. But he likes a really heavy um, folded almost two inches. But don't you think that's, I think that's great though. Yeah. It's what he's, we've just. So these are his favorite socks. Like he just loves All now. All of a sudden he's like, these are my favorite socks to wear. Of course they are. But this was such a pleasure to knit. This yarn makes beautiful fabric, you guys. It It is phenomenal. She has several colors. This is one of those marled yarns where it's a strand of dark and a strand of light. So when you dye it, the dark stays dark and then it just picks up. There you go. They call it their Mighty Marled DK. Yeah. So it is an 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon. You can knit it for any kind of socks, but anything else. Yeah. But isn't that cool the way it looks like that and then it knits up into the fabric yeah. just kind of all speckly like that? It's it's a beautiful yard. I and couldn't it makes agree more. Amazing socks. Amazing, yeah. amazing socks. I'm gonna have to So you needed two skeins to make socks like that. I did. Is that a full skein? Not quite. But it's it's not That's far pretty off. Long. Yeah, yeah, it's not far off. Because he likes this from the top here to be just about ten, and then from the back of the heel before I start here is nine and set three quarters. Yeah. So it's it's a lot of a lot of yardage. But you know but what? He loves it. Oh, loves it. Yeah, that's amazing, Jody. It's so gorgeous. Um, what else? I'm swatching for a test knit. I'm so excited about this knit. Are you? Um, and I'll show you here. So, te what's the test knit? Is it a garment? Yeah, it's a sweater. I showed you. I know, but like, let's just talk this through because Jody, every I love it. What are you getting at? Did you? S okay, it's just because sometimes you get stressed. Yeah, I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm not gonna be. Do you care stressed. if you finish it? Of course. Okay. I'm oh. within the guidelines of the test knit. I, I agreed knowing what was happening. It's a, we're, they're not sure when this needs to be done. But do you have the pattern you can start? Yes. <gasps> I've been I swatching, trying to get gauge for myself. Are you having a hard time? Well, oh, not crazy. really. Now I think I've got it. This is beautiful. Okay. So we like showed this yarn a while ago. Oh, this is nice. It is unbelievable. And I just want to show it again. I showed it in pink. I have ex I have changed my mind. I have a sweatshirty gray. It is a very lightly tweed yarn. It's by Sandness, and it's this is called their Tweed Recycle. It's a sport weight, eighty percent fine merino wool. This is really extra beautiful. fine wool. Extra fine wool, not merino. Eighty percent like extra it. fine wool, twenty percent cashmere. Mm. Like an MCN blend is usually 10% cashmere. Mm -hmm. It's kind of, it seems woolen spun. It just sort of blends. Oh, it's light and, as and a feather. It sort of reminds me of the weight and kind of look of Rowan felted tweed, but way softer. Like it's way, very, way, way softer. It's, it's, what's your gauge on this? It's very, a lot of stitches. No? Uh, 22. Beautiful. Yeah. 3.75 millimeter needle or 3.5. I'm or used to looking like at 15. Right. So this seems like, oh, but that's beautiful. The fabric is lovely. And I just know I will wear it so much. So it's a really beautiful um, sweater. It's by Heidi Kiermeyer. Are you allowed to I show it? I don't. Yes, I am. But I have nothing to show other than my swatch. Okay. Do you guys want to see Is there a photo? Gonna... Yes. Yes. It's so good. I think we want to get people excited because it okay. is beautiful. Okay. I loved knitting Heidi's ship shape sweater. Yeah. I think she's a beautiful designer. I want to knit everything she does. Okay. There's this. No wonder Notice. Yes. Notice the little rolled edges and the way that this is constructed. I can't wait to get the knitting, if I'm going to be honest, because it's different than things I've made in the past. And I love the simplicity of the shape and I love the little rolled edges. I just think it's going to be something so easy to wear and I'm having the hardest time picking color. Like, do I want 
like you're sort of thinking, like, I do I want a bright thing? I've got a yarn that I think I could do. It's like hot pink. And I've got this beautiful gray. I don't know what to do. I feel like you... I feel like I'm boring. Are you not... Are you not sold on this? Well, this is actually... When I exchanged my yarn, they didn't have enough in the gray. So this is my swatching color. I, own, I This is one ball. So no, this is the... This is a light oh, tan. Yeah, I can see you in this, though. And I thought, oh, boring. I got home it's and knit not, that and thought to myself, I freaking love it's that. It's not boring. This, so this yarn has a deep, dark navy. They're all a little bit tweedy. Mm. A really dark, um, foresty green. There's a burgundy. But then there's also this and then a, a light gray. What about... And the hot pink. There's only six or seven colors in this yarn. I hope more colors come out of this. What about doing a little couple of stripes on the sleeve? Like if you're, or cast off. Yeah, I think I have enough yardage. Well, I do have just enough yardage for the sweater. But for swatching, I needed to use a different color, which is fine. This is beautiful. It's amazing I thought yarn. this was your color. No, it's not. And so... This doesn't, I don't have a price Because when here. you're saying it but was But this really is affordable, like 20% cashmere. I feel like the price point on this is very, mm. I want to say $18. Okay. Canadian so, dollars. So that's 18 four Canadian American. dollars for 175 meters. Okay. So not like inexpensive, inexpensive, but I feel like for what you're getting, extra fine wool and 20% cashmere, okay. I feel like it's beautiful. Okay. I feel like it's a pretty good, pretty good price point. It's a beautiful fabric. But I just think the edges, that rolled edge <gasps> is just so... Mm. And it's something I don't have. I'm really trying to knit things that I don't have in my closet. I'm trying to incorporate more colors that I don't have. But I also super love wearing but things. But be careful. Yes. Because there's a reason why your wardrobe is stocked with all these things. is because this is what you love to wear. So maybe going outside your comfort zone and throwing in this color... Might it may be the best idea and you'll wear it all the time, but be careful. There's a reason why maybe you I don't feel like I need to hear that because I am literally like frozen as far as color choice. No, I just keep swatching, I keep swatching all kinds of things, and I'll realize I feel like I'm a looser knitter. Like, I you know, it's a DK weight sweater, but. I feel like I'm better with like a lighter weight yarn to get that gauge. So it's fun. It's, you know, it's just all things as far as being a knitter goes, right? We're all different. Our tension, our gauge is all different. So, um, just I knit what you love and don't try and force something that's not going to end well right. or wear very much. Do you or... feel too, that when you're knitting a sweater, say you're knitting that stone colored sweater now, do you feel like uh, your next one is going to be like so bright you can hardly like I tend to go back and it's kind of like nail polish like I go from like a nude to a hot pink. You remember mine last week were this color and then I went like as, in my as brain, light as you can go in my brain. I don't want to knit another blue sweat bluey green yeah. sweater next. Yeah. I want to knit something else. And you can do that, but staying within what you love to wear. Yeah. But I love, if you would have chose this, Tracy, this, do you have anything like this? Well, it's sort of the color of your offline. So yeah, I have my night oh, blooms yeah, right. is offline yeah. and black, but yeah. I love it. Mm. And it's a little shorter. Like I wish I had knit it longer. So do you really? Yeah. Like I always wear it with a longer layer underneath it, yeah. but I love it. Mm -hmm. I love that sweater. We should do that. that. Maybe once in a while, just bring something that's not new, but like. I wear the heck out of this, and let me tell you and why. It's yes. not new. So the one I'm referencing is Night Blooms by Melissa Clulo. You'll find it under Espace Tricot on Ravelry. It is free pattern. It's a round neck, round yoke. Um, and the color work is double-stranded mohair, which you can do whatever you want. It's a DK weight sweater. Um, but I, you know, that was the first time I had done double-stranded mohair for color work and it's something I've discovered I love and would do again in a heartbeat um but oh. I feel so good wearing did you know yours was on there no it's on the pattern page yeah I mean I have to give consent for that so I must have done that but no I've never looked 
Do you have to give consent for that? Yeah. If they want to use your photo. They've credited you. The Oh, wow. Okay. Well, there I am. You guys. Oh, it's perfect. I can't even tell you how much I love that sweater. And I was finishing it oh. on the way home. Oh, wow. Look at that. So you even bind off in the double-stranded mohair. I can't even tell you how much I love that sweater. And I've been meaning to make another one. And when I was finishing mine, we were in the car driving like 11 hours one day. We drove to Kelowna, my mm -hmm. husband and I. And then I rushed it. Like I couldn't try it on. It's probably an inch and a half sh oh, shoot. shorter than I would have done if I had been at home. But that was, that's what, that design came out when they launched their Sunday morning DK. So all these years later, that Sunday morning DK is still one of my favorite, favorite sweater pattern, um, yarns. You have knit it so many times. I was in my closet. I think I have nine sweaters knit with um, Sonder yarn and their Sunday morning line. So... I love it. So I think we should do that. Things that we wear all the time, but maybe don't talk about. Yeah, I was just looking at the amazing um, sweaters. Oh, that's a really pretty one and kind of like a mustardy. Yeah. And the yacht, the mohair for this, you held double, but you only used 150 gram. It was like a little ball of that Isair mohair. Like There's I only so needed much one. Yardage. Oh, really? Yeah. So beautiful. So I do love that. So anyway, I'm having color issues. I think that this test knit would be amazing in a color changing yarn. Like if you're a hand spun, a spinner, I think your hand spun would be so pretty in that sweater. Beautiful. Beautiful. So please tell me what to do. Don't overthink it too much. Knit what you love to wear. I'm, last night I'm even saying to my husband, what do you think about this color? What do you think about Maybe, that and it's, it's not gonna be the same for everyone because some people will go. Color's I, so subjective, yeah. right? And people will think, oh, I don't have hot pink, but I want to add hot pink in my wardrobe. But you have to ask yourself, are you going to wear it? 100%. Wow, Jody, that's so freaking okay, cute. This is the Holger baby set. It's by Petite Knit. It's a brand new pattern. Can you even? No. It's brand new? Yeah. Really? It's on my, yeah, it was on my, my new pattern page. Okay. Color blocking? Okay. Is the ant like. So I have to pose the question. I Maddie wants me to knit a sweater for uh, one of her favorite, favorite, favorite teachers before the end of the year because she's having a baby. They're not finding out what they're having. What colors do I knit? If I want to knit something like this, oh, this is fingering. I won't knit fingering, but I will knit like a DK version. What do we knit? What color? Yeah. For an. Gender neutral. Yeah. I think that fun reddish color up top is really pretty with like a linen color or what about in like the green family with a, I think like a, I think not a cream or white neutral, but sort of like a linen color plus something else, something more fun. I mean, we've genderized color because color doesn't have gender. A hundred percent. But I'm not going to go pink, right, or baby blue. Well, it's funny when I knit a sweater for Georgia's teacher. We did not know what they were having. I chose like a sea blue, like a it was a Malabrigo Rios in quite a turquoisey blue. Yeah. So I feel like I think it's beautiful. It was really beautiful. Um, you know what? Okay, here's the other thing I was I love thinking. linen and that orangey tomato red. Mm. It's not, su you don't have to do it super, super bright, but I think it's fun and not too out there when it's blended with this kind of linen color. I love that. Yeah. She's do it at the beginning We're of not June. a super dark navy, but in that blue family and then blend it with something and I a pop of yellow. I, I don't know. I don't know. Good question. Or do I do booties and a hat? Maddie said whatever you want, but... I go for cardigan. Yeah. I vote for cardigan. I did that Anchors cardigan. It was phenomenal. Maybe just a really beautiful so cute. ivory. Sure. Or that linen color. And yeah. cast on, bind off with just something else. Everywhere. All your edges Yeah. in something else. Do you know that's funny, that linen color like we have? Like parchment. The two dyes that we use... 
on the yarn, it makes it feel like straw. Oh. Like we like I can, I well, can't tell you how that's... much I love the linen color, but the dye changes the fabric. It's awful. How about a speckle? Oh yeah. Forget about the plain colors. <gasps> Speckles. Somebody just said baby. Baby's like like she wants saturated color because babies are getting stuff all over. Like don't do cream, don't do. Mm. Um, but I think a fun speckle would be. Oh my cute gosh, too. you're so right. Or a hold, stripe. I could hold cashmere surrey with a fingering speckle. I don't. I don't think fluffy yarns like that are good for kids. Okay. I see people knitting them, but I do feel like that kind of fluff can get up their nose. You don't know about allergies. You don't know. It can be yeah, Jordan, problematic. We don't have the oat color anymore. Oh. It really, we wish we did, but the, it changes. Well, maybe you just need a different company's oh dye. Winter in New York would be the best. It's very color. beautiful. <gasps> yeah. Jordan just did a really good batch too. Okay. Maybe that's what I'm, thank you for brainstorming with I me. I love that. Because I really want, um, I'm going to, I think, cast it on <gasps> for Ireland. Okay. Maybe do a little bit, because it's a small little project, right? It's going to be a skein of yarn, but I just saw this brand new pattern and I thought, I won't do the pants, but. Okay, but can I just say, Tin Can Knits has knitted leggings. I think they're one of the cutest baby things okay. ever. Hold the phone with this. I was looking for kids things. Oh, that's so cute. This is such a great idea when you're saying you want it to be like gender neutral where this it would look. This to me is not gender neutral. Uh, it is for sure. I this, think it this is. This says boy. I think those colors just say classic. I don't think that says boy. You guys, look at this. But you could trade out the rust or the brown for I something else. I think this is going to be the pattern. I It's the speedy stripe pants, but there's also a sweater. This is DK weight. Okay, you might want to wait till I show you this thing <gasps> before you decide. We had a nice email from a girl, and she had, she had heard that you were looking for a fun baby pattern. Okay. She said she has a tiny, a three-month-old baby. This is what... She knit, and it's a giant hit. Oh, my God. They're knitted jeans. Are you serious? Yep. The pattern is Blue, B-L-U, by Christina Bernardi Schiffman and Kay Gardner from Modern Daily Knitting. You guys, come on. What? What, Jody? You could do the cuff inside, like... A different color. Stitch? You could fold it up and the... Oh, you've Cape done, Cod Blue and the outside is denim. Like, come on. It is a worsted weight pattern. And it's from December 2005. It is a free pattern. I don't know. It just keeps getting better and better. And it goes from zero to three months all the way up to 18 to 24 months. And stretchy. So your kid can... What weight? Worsted. Oh. Knit it in DK. 20 That's stitches. Amazing. Look, here's a modeled pair. <laughs> yes. Yes. Just yes. I think that's a great pattern. That is pattern. so, that's really, really You know what that would be so cute world. in? Yeah. Yes. It would make kind of a denim -y fabric. Mm -hmm. Or hold together two fingering weight that look like jeans. Like a Cape Cod blue and a undyed. I love that. I don't know. Anyway, I just think they're absolutely adorable. Thank you for sharing that pattern. Okay, you guys, look at this. I had the most fun. There's 700 projects on Ravelry, so people are knitting this thing. Look at this sweater. It's a kid sweater. It's called Cat and Mice, but look at the front of the sweater. I love that. You see it? Want to see the back of it? Oh, get out of town. Okay, this is a great idea. This is a great idea. Doing something with like animals, like that's okay. baby. It's not boy, baby, girl, baby, whatever. I still don't think. Hold the phone. I don't think, unless you go like baby pink, that anything's gender neutral. Oh my gosh, get out of town. Hedgehogs. Like, look at those booties. Even just the booties and the hat. That's winner, winner. Is that not amazing? Yes. These are duplicate stitches. 
Okay, I want to show you. Duplicate. Wow. And that was DK as well. We have gone down a baby pattern rabbit hole. Oh, look at this. Wait. I got to show you this one Tin Can Knits one because um, I've always thought that I would make it as a baby gift or because it's rain. You know what's baby? Rainbow. Knitting yeah. rainbow. This is called the Baby Camilla Sweater. And it's a little round yoke. I thought this was so cute. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Is that by? Yes. Claudia Q, yeah. Q from Do You Knit? It is. I. She is such a beautiful designer. How about knitting something out of that memory, making memories book? Okay, Jody? we also have mini pom-pom. Those came? I got a. No, the mini pom We've had it for ages. Mini pom. Mini pom. The baby patterns. Yeah. Jody. I love that idea. Okay. I've got so many things to show you guys. That was just some of them. But I mean, you could do a whole episode on baby knits for sure. The flea sweater. And it's by Anna and Heidi Pickles. Cute name. But look, this is, why not just a fun striped sweater like that? Why not? I feel like a yoke done in rainbow and then the rest of the sweater, <gasps> Cape Cod blue. Yoke, rainbow, Done. Cape Cod Blue. Done. And then... But I'm going to do a fun rainbow. Yes. Not a traditional rainbow. Do oh, whatever you want. You're so smart. Hardly. I feel like I love brainstorming these things. Right? Because that's what... It's but so fun. But it's cheerful. Like, to me, that's, like, cheerful. I think if you overthink it, you could do a really classic, beautiful, you know, dress-up sweater. But I think you can never go wrong with a rainbow. Oh, this is it. Oh, my God. This is it. This is the sweater that I thought was so cute. It's the oh. I Heart Rainbows sweater. Who's that by? It is by Tin Can Knits. Okay, I Heart Rainbows. And it is fingering weight, but, you know. I have a problem with that. You can knit any round yoke sweater to this in a DK or whatever you want. We can we can figure it out. Anyway, I think it's absolutely adorable. I love it so much. The um, Strange Brew book, Jody, has baby sizes yes. and a round yoke That's sweater. That's exactly what I thought. Actually, this That's is... That's what I would do. This is what I thought. I'm going to show you this one. This is called um, Sunshine. I thought that... Oh, I love that too. I thought this could, could be a fun moment that you could do with some bright colors for a baby. With There's also a goldfish one that I've seen that is so yes. cute. Where it's just the goldfish in the yolk. Mm-hmm. But I think a rainbow is a great way to go. So I thought that was really pretty. That's very pretty. Yeah. Um, so this I Heart Rainbows pattern is available individually, but you can get the whole book of the, it's in nine months of knitting. I'm so glad I collected Tin Can Knits paper books because they're not being reprinted anymore. I think that's a mistake. I think I don't think so, Joe. People no, no, like, not no. I don't. People think, like digital. I don't think, but we proudly sell books. We do, and I and think people if love they it. They did another run of I Strange do. Fruit just one more I time. I think so too. Um, one more time. But I, I think you know it's a giant. Well, first of all, it's a giant expense to get a book printed. I know. I'm saying that, and I have no knowledge. No, no, no. It. My heart always wants the book, the physical yeah. copy of the book. Um, but it seems like many makers love a digital app and they love a digital That's pattern. That's the way it's gone. I feel like just like digital books to read stories, there are that giant yeah. group of people that still like a hard paper copy. And I'll be honest, just like a cookbook, uh, make it like a knitting or craft book. I want the book. Yeah. I don't want a digital file. Okay. I want. Let's try the the pink. That's that's what I put a light amount of it on, but if you go around like a few times, it's kind of corally. Oh. <laughs> Jody's doing the little much. Let me see. But like, if I'm going out, but you can't. I do love what I love about this stuff is it's buildable. Mm. So even if I got the red, even though I don't, yeah. Right? Yeah, I love it. I can't tell you how much I love this ultra Okay. Lip. I also have another pattern that came out a while ago. Oh, I know. But you guys, wait. Yes. It's called the Elena Pullover. 
but you guys wait till you see they've done the top yoke and lace work in a totally different color and i think mohair oh yes like that i claudia is a beautiful designer i think let me just I get love this for bj this is love her um designs i think they're very classic and beautiful and pretty but, like there's look lots of lace same sweater now you can see the lace and all one color. all one color <gasps> this see, is that's, stunning yeah jody that's beautiful that's really really beautiful i can't remember if we'd ever talked about this or I don't if think i just so. missed it this is stunning you guys listen she has so many designs i don't know how you keep up i don't know how she She's does it all beautiful designer yeah Oh, our friend Beth McDonald has a brand new sweater that just came out. It is so beautiful. Somebody else that's just cranking out the patterns. Really Listen, amazing. This Oh, and a couple of the colors caught my eyes too. Like literally, this is Tamarind Sweater by Beth McDonald Stone. Yeah. Who also has a YouTube channel. If you guys love hearing about designers and their process and all of that stuff, she's great to this watch. This is DK Weight Yarn. Fingering, held with fingering. It looks like um, Icelandic or something to me. It's really pretty. Really pretty. I love her color choices. I will never forget meeting Beth. Our first trip to Rhinebeck in that corner by Nicole's booth. Because she lives in Bermuda. And I just think, I don't think I've met anybody from B Bermuda. I know. And she still lives in Bermuda. And you will see her at lots of like knitting events. She'll fly back to the US or UK or whatever. Um, but I will never forget meeting her. You guys, I just, the color combination she's chosen. <gasps> yeah, that's so pretty. I put this in my favorites. I'm dreaming of this sweater. What weight is that? This is DK. Okay, so since we're kind of talking about Beth, she is in the process of releasing a sweater at like multiple gauges. Like she released one pattern that's like at 18 stitches and 24 stitches and then... 16 and 20 and 14 and 18 like it's a it's birdie she's knit it with birdie what's that color it starts with a b here it is bernie bernie basic so it's a round is it round yoke mm -hmm. and she's she's got patterns for you at all kinds of gauges this basic shape yeah but she's done all the math so you don't have to so when you swatch for something and you think, oh, I'm two stitches off, which is huge, mm. and I really want to knit that sweater, she's done that pattern at multiple gauges. Different it, patterns. You yes. have to buy different patterns. This is a worsted sweater, you guys, and it's called Big Sky Sweater, and it's a raglan sweater, but it's just got an amazing detail on the folded oh, collar. I've never seen that one. This is worsted. This is stunning. Really pretty. She's a beautiful designer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I agree. Okay. So I have one more thing to show in knitting, and then I've good. got some goodies. Okay, good. Look at this. Oh. Freckle this Whimsy? Woolens and Nosh. Woolens and Nosh. She just That's insanely blew gorgeous. my mind with a new... Can you pull up her Instagram, please? Sure. This is a brand new color for her. This happens to be one full skein of DK, the whole entire thing. Um, I'm obsessed. I did get two skeins of it because I love it so much. In, Jody, good in case call. I give one pair of socks away. What are away, we looking for? It's a brand new color. What's it called? Oh, you want to know what it's called? Is that it? Yeah. Uh, ebb and flow. Ebb and flow. It is repeatable version of the 2023 Advent with 16 of the 24 colors that were in the Advent oh. last year. See, and I would never have remembered. But, like, the Advent had the colors in between separating it. Yeah. So that's different. Yeah. I love this. I love those blocks of color families. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Obsessed. So I just got these. Let's say... The same day I got it I'm, is when I cranked this. It's phenomenal. Oh, that's exciting. And you know it's a goodie when you can't, these when you for, drop everything. These will be for me. Selfishly good. for me. Why is that selfish? No, it's not. They're for me. So good. Okay. I missed the first update, you guys. I'm like, please tell me you're not going to, because I, I was late to the party. 
and it was sold out. And I said, please make this not be the last time you yeah, buy no it. Yeah, no kidding, right? So, well, you know how much we love self-striving dyers and appreciate all the work they do. And that's just, it's just different. And I love that. She's so talented. Um, Hill Country Reavers was I last know. weekend. I know. How do we get it's in on that? It's a giant event. Is it a retreat? We have to look it up. Because if it's a retreat, I would like to go. Me too. Yeah, I, yeah totally. Count me because in. Because all, all those those beautiful makers, they were at the, a marketplace. Yes. But I think it's a retreat. I kind of think so too. I think, and it's, yes, it seems like it is. Okay. Can we throw our hat in the game for next year? Like, is that a thing? I don't know. And say we would like to sign up how for about, your retreat? How about go on the website and find the detail? We'll have to figure it out, Joe. It looked amazing. I would love to go. Yes, it, it looked incredible. Yeah. Um, something else that I watched over the last couple of weeks, and I loved. It was like, I wish it was longer. Tony. TLC Yarn Crafts. Tony Lipsy. Crochet Queen. She's got a YouTube channel, which is amazing. But she did a video recently with her mom. I love who her mom. we were so lucky to meet yeah. at Rhinebeck, and they were both so sweet. And I was like, "Your mom? Are you sure?" <laughs> they look like sisters almost. Um, they did a video talking about uh, like unpopular or controversial opinions in the crafting world. Okay. Yeah, it was good. Oh, that does. Sound and it good. got a little spicy where they were like, "No, like that's not cool, or that's not okay, or I don't know what." It, um, but it was like unfiltered conversation around some controversial Give me an things. example of one controversy they talked about. Oh, um, something about, like there was something about acrylic yarn. There was something about, I don't know. Don't put, I don't know. Okay. I don't okay. know, but I do know that I loved hearing opinions that were just theirs mm -hmm. you know you're not tiptoeing around not trying not to offend people they they're not offensive in any way yes but they had a great conversation and i love being knitting versus crochet yeah something like that yeah it was very yeah they, they did talk about something that was like they think it's like is it a snobby thing is there a difference of opinion crochet between... doesn't get and i thought to myself it's... there is like that's horrible that's horrible if that's I think more going around. people talk about knitting. I'm not. I, I don't think more people knit because there's a giant crochet um, community. Knit crocheters blow my mind because yes. I don't have a lot of skill there yet. I would love to build up more, but if I saw someone with an amazing crochet project, my first thought would be, "Oh my god, you're amazing! Like, how did you do that?" I feel like it doesn't get. I feel like it doesn't get the spotlight and the and the accolades. It I don't understand that. As knitting does. And, and I, I don't, don't agree. agree with that. No, I no. Don't agree with that. So anyway, loved it. I love Tony. She's very, um, well, you know how talented and amazing she is. But she does tons of videos that are um, teaching us to do things. But also, I just love spending time with her. I totally, she's just such a great yeah. ball of energy. And she's incredibly talented. And I just, anyway, to that share... was really fun. The conversation with her and her yeah. mom. When we were at... Um, in Rhinebeck, we met her at the Cake of Palooza mm -hmm. um, to share her space with her. Her energy is palpable. Yeah, yeah. And her mom, palpable. Her mom, oh, she was just the sweetest yeah. woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loved it. Loved all of it. Yeah. Um, doesn't that smell amazing? Oh this my is gosh. this. We used this last time, you guys, and showed it. It was on the counter here. It's this so by amazing. Sunflower Knits. Yeah. So if you guys go to Wool and Waves Yarn Store, you might be able to get this for yourself. It's a knitter's joint salve. Maybe it's going to help my totally. touch sensitivity. Maybe you should just take a bath in this. It's all like natural products, olive oil and all of these natural things. Beeswax, essential oils, yarrow, arnica. These are all think good things for joint pain. So it's by Sunflower Knit. And this came from Wool and Waves Yarn Store. And it is heavenly. Mm. Oh, oh, I love it. I'm getting a tattoo today. It says for external use only, just FYI. So just in case. Don't put it. Just in case you were thinking you otherwise. Don't want it to burn. Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Maddie and I are getting a tattoo together. And what's it going to be? Is Maddie picking? Um, oh, that's all so my cute. Max 
got their first tattoo with me when they turned 18. Max got an X behind her ear and I got the O. And then when Jordan turned 18, I don't remember if it was on her birthday or the day after, but Jordan had me write always. And I have always in my handwriting here and she got, has the same one. And then Maddie, I don't know which, I don't know if I'm the key or if I'm the lock, but Maddie will have a lock That's awesome. or the key. Just and let Maddie the pick other. and then you can be yeah. the other one. And so we're getting that today. That's so cute. I love that. You know what else I was, I was renting a party bus. Grad is right around the corner. Wow. Yeah. Grade 12 grad. It's one of those things where like, if you're the, you know, girl looking for your dress and yeah. stuff, you do it so far in advance. And then the next yes. thing you know, it's here. It's here. Wow. Are you having cocktails or anything at your house? Um, we're the party bus house. We're the rental. So it won't be a full, but I will be offering, um, yeah, champagne or whatever. Cute. Rose, yeah. But I love that. 30, 17 and 18 year olds. What? 30. Probably. Yeah. The bus seats. 30 I people. sort of remember my grad. <laughs> I know. I remember walking around downtown, like in the middle of the night, with my shoes just hanging on my shoe. Oh, it was, it was amazing. It's funny because jo I love my dress so much. I know. I loved it. I hated my ex. Like, who let me wear that? I should bring a picture. I'll remember. <laughs> you know what I look I'll like? I'll have to find my. I don't know. It was like strapless taffeta, mm. navy blue. Like I, I would wear if if I could. I would wear it again. I, I loved, loved it, it so I much. I loved it then. I, I, it was made. It was perfectly fit. It was, but today, looking back, obviously we were in the eighties. Yeah, late eighties. It yeah. was like, what were you thinking? Yeah. What were you thinking? I know. It's just fun to see. It is. Oh my gosh, it's so fun to look back. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's wild. Maddie's going to be... It's so funny. It, it's like our house is like for the third kid is the house house. Good. For, yeah, I love that. Yeah. That's exciting. I've also offered for them to come back to the our house. Like there's not an after grad, but like there could be like a group of 50 of them. And I offered our backyard. Do like and a bonfire. I just said we would set it up. We would have a bonfire. Hot, hot you dogs. Do your thing. People can throw up outside. Yeah. Anyway, we'll yeah, see. That'll be fun. We had the cutest book sent to us. Uh, speaking of crochet geniuses, this is Cuddly Crochet Plushies. The whole book is like these chenille crocheted animals. And it's by Glory Shafwara. And she is crafting in glory. Cl crafting in glory. So if you want to look her up on Instagram, she's a huge crochet artist. And these are the cutest. I can't. Like, it's just all these animals. This is a whole section on farm animals. Bibby the bird. You guys, do you know there's how fast undersea. these would go? Crochet oh. is so fast. So, like, there's... Is this a llama? Henry the horse. Oops, sorry. I thought his neck was pretty skinny. Anyway, there's a whole section on, like, farm animals and undersea animals. Here's a hippo, wet and wild, animals that live in the water. I was just thinking about something. But it looks like she uses kind of a, um, oh my gosh, look at the otter. Oh, that's cute. These are all so adorable. There's what? a monkey and a oh, sloth. The sloth is so cute. Oh, she's saying create huggable plushies in just an afternoon. Tracy, I'm not kidding you. Wow, I totally yes. believe that. Oh, there's ladybug. ladybug and I mean there's all kinds of them oh a wolf and a Reindeer. deer so there's like forest the animals farm cute. animals I feel like you could work your way through here and be like never bored oh a phoenix wow that's kind of fancy it's beautiful too why don't I crochet a sweater why don't you I should crochet a sweater. speaking of Tony she did the coolest one she went to Beyonce last summer mm. and she crocheted this really cool sweater for that night and it was like can I do it it was like a challenge for herself it was gorgeous and that made me think I would love to do that pattern that's Pegasus with wings um somebody asked where do we meet our husbands out of curiosity I think we Us? mentioned it before yeah where did we meet them where like at the back of the beginning 
I met mine online. I was divorced with two kids, didn't do anything. Baby. Yeah. So I went online and he was the, he was the first, not the, I believe he was the f- one of a couple. No, first one I chatted with first date I went on and it, that was it. And it was such a good match. Like that's it was amazing. Such a good match right off the bat. I was, you know what? Almost instantly in love with this guy. And wow. still, like, of course, it's deeper, right? But, yeah. like, instantly, yeah. I met my husband. There was a local bar. that It's a neighborhood one. It was called The Corkscrew. Uh, anybody in this area will, like, it's been gone for years and years and years. But it was, su- it was like, a local hangout for mm. lots of people. I'm sure that's where I met him. But we knew the family through store the IGA his yeah. mom was in every day his sister yeah. is near my age um but I remember when he used to come, I was working at the store and he used to come in and I used to get all these hard like, eyes. butterflies and I still feel that and more he's amazing but it was a very local thing like his brother worked at the store like we knew the whole family so I had met him years before remember when we all went to Montana like it's not like he was a new guy but it just seemed like that meeting at that that age for mm-hmm. both of us, he's a few years older. Um, yeah. And it was just like he just started Love that. bugging me. <laughs> uh, it was great. It was great. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. My first husband wasn't my guy. My second husband is totally my guy. Totally. And yeah, love a yeah. life. Lavalife.com. I remember. And this was so long ago, I've been married Jody. to almost 20 years. Right. So you told me you were going online, and I was like, oh, my God. Online, that was early days. Online dating. Like, do you need me to be be there somewhere in the background when you meet him? You just never knew. It was one of those things that were getting bad press. Yes. Like, finding weirdo. Like, anyway, it couldn't have been better. No, it couldn't have been better. Right. Yeah. 20 no, years it later. was great. He's a great Good guy. Good question. He's a great guy. Okay, you guys. We got very lucky. I have been waiting for this book, and I saw her doing all the mailing, and I did not know they were all going to be handwritten. Yes, she in- wrote in every single one. I didn't know that. Um, the Petite Knitter has come out with her very first book. It's unbelievable. Every page is as beautiful as the next. This is the most beautiful collection. So perfectly curated. It is stunning. What did you think? I. This is a copy I purchased too because we're going to do a giveaway. Okay. Well, that's so nice. I, if you love, so I've knit the Sonder sweater by the Petite Knitter. Yeah. I love it. I love her style. I love the way she knits in natural colors. Um, If you like what she does already with her color work, you know, jumpers and hats and mittens and socks, this is just more of that in an amazing collection. How many patterns do we get in here? Six jumpers, three hats, three mittens, and three socks. As well as look at this. It's there's an essay in here on what it's like to live in the Arctic. She shares her personal um, experience. The photography is out of this world, and it's got two flaps that you know you're going to be knitting out of this book. But look, it's like it's those thing that keeps you organized. It's a little thing, but I think it's such an important thing. I I feel. I could not love this more. I love color work knitting. Some people, cables get them all jazzed up. Some people, lace gets them all jazzed up. I love, like, simple color work like this. This is the Arctic sweater, I believe it's called on the front. Um, and every everyone is in here. Color work just makes my even. heart sing. The charts in here are huge. Big. I'm going to flash it. Big. Very, very easy to knit from. Yeah. I mean... 10 out of 10. <gasps> when I got this book, I just thought, oh. thought to myself, I could literally knit every single pattern in this book so happily. This Baffin jumper, I think, is so gorgeous. 
We were just talking about this the other day, how we love sweaters that are knit the main, the color that casts on at the top. We love it when it's not the main color of the sweater. It's sort of a... A design feature. choice, yeah. Um, so if you love the petite knitter, um, look at these I don't know if this book is available anymore. I don't know if there's more copies available, but you can go to her website and see. You guys. I sort of think it's sold out. And she... No. Well, I do, Jode. Okay, just a minute. But that doesn't mean it's sold out forever. I don't know the details. I just think she's such a stunning designer. Arctic knits. Sweater There's book. actually a sweater in here knit wow. in Sonder yarn, too. The Sonder sweater was knit a collaboration with Sonder yarn, and there's another one in here. You guys might really love this one. It's the Alpine Paca jumper, and there's some little alpacas in the color work. It's so cute. But you get everything from mittens to hats and socks, as well as six jumper patterns. It's an Amazon. Is it? Pre-order, yeah. Yay. Pre-order. So I think it's been sold out, and there's the a new batch. printing yeah. coming. So you can still get it at some point. There's um, more. I just Googled that there's more than one place to get it, but Amazon, Canadian Amazon. I, I think, yeah. So I, they must be reprinting it, because I don't think they you can get should, copies. You guys, get your copy. I love the soft cover. Me too. There's... Um, there's this, also technique pages. So like even if you're not, like if you're a new color work knitter, she's showing you how she does these things. How to catch floats, how to do corrugated ribbing. Um, I find her patterns so easy to follow. Yeah, they're really nice. Tracy mentioned the charts are so clear and they're big. And there's 10 adult sizes in every pattern. Yeah, very size inclusive. Yeah. Um, Congratulations. <gasps> this book is stunning. I could not wait from the day that I pre-ordered yeah. to the day I got it in my hands. I was so excited. It is. It exceeds everything that I was hoping Yeah, it would be. It really is just so beautifully done. 10 out of 10, you guys. I can't. Like, I got goosebumps. This book is incredible. It's so calming. Like, having yeah. this color palette that is... And I guess this sort of ties in with our conversation about what colors to choose. And I can't keep choosing the same color all the mm -hmm. time. She, yeah, you can. She knits what she loves. Yeah. And it's usually these natural earth tones, right? She yeah. takes lots of inspiration from her home mm -hmm. in the tundra up in Iqaluit. Um I would love a conversation. Oh, yes. I wonder if she would do that. Well, I don't know. I do not know. Okay. I have one more thing Beautiful. I want to share that was so cute and the designers reached out to us a couple of weeks ago, and I feel like... Didn't you cast these on? No, this was... we. I shared another pattern. Mm. Um, oh, my God. So, something Slouch Socks. Yeah. By Laurel. Yeah. And I've knit one. Mm, right. And they're so cute. Um, this is a similar shape, but a totally different style of pattern. This is called Back to the 80s Socks by the Sock Knitters Club, who is mm. Karen and Meline. And it is the cutest pair of socks, you guys. Oh, these are so good. And it's very different, um, very Hi. different as far as the design goes. They Yes, they slouch, but they slouch differently than... Are they brioche? Right, so I was sort of looking. I, think they I don't think so. It looks like, oh yes, there is brioche in this one. So she's got some vi um, videos in here where you can click on links is it don't is lick it? off my makeup right why don't i see like is it dk they are dk love it dk these are the back to the 80s socks you can check out the hashtag they are at sock knitters club on instagram so these are different so yes they slouch but the pattern is dk there's brioche it's totally different you could actually Support both of these designers. You, if you like the slouch, you could get both patterns. Brioche in the round is not difficult. Don't let this scare you away. I feel like this is the... When we took a beginner brioche class, this was my favorite two color in the round. You could mm -hmm. see so clearly. And it was... Listen, these are adorable. DK, these are going to knit up like nothing. And honestly, they are screaming 80s. So it's the cutest pattern. Thank you so much for sharing it, ladies. Um, that brings lots of sock knitters are going to love these. That just brings me back. Totally. They're so cute. And 
I don't know. I don't know. Like a lot of us wear like leggings and big tops and hang out at home. This is the perfect addition to my slouchy wardrobe. I love them. <gasps> that reminds me to talk about our conversation with Digits and Threads last week. Oh, yes. So if not everybody knows or are, are on Instagram, we've done these little uh, lunchtime chats. And this past week was with um, Kate and Kim of Digits and Thread. Yes. Let's tell everybody what Digits and Threads is. Sure. So Digits and Threads is an Georgia. On... Good morning. <laughs> is an online. Do we want to say magazine or yes. resource? It's a member supported. You become a member, and they give you fiber related all kinds of things. Three times a month, you'll get an article or. Um, there's so much in there. And this is actually, when you sign up for their email, you got a free copy of Kim McBrien's Evans inclus size inclusive chart, like her new representative sizing. So there's all kinds of things in there for all kinds of textile fiber crafts, but it is Canadian centric. So you're going to find from sheep farmers to wool producers, to designers, to techniques, to, um, they've actually got a resource for cross canada road trip all the yarn stops you could hit all the yarny shops they've got a resource so it doesn't matter where you're driving in canada you can go there and know exactly what yarn store you're going to run into right here yeah um but we there's it is a member supported um website resource magazine i'm not sure what they want to call it they call it the member supported online magazine for canadian fiber and textiles and crafts and what does that say <laughs> industry okay so yeah. it's so true like it's all aspects of that um and so for i guess i'll just tell you the pricing since we're here so they've got a trial that's nine dollars for 90 days yeah. You sign up, you get it. So basically that way you're going to get three full months to see if it's your jam. And if it is, great. You can continue on at their price. They also do a studio hours thing once a month, which is a Zoom. So you'll get live, you know, you get to have a conversation with maybe somebody, maybe it's a designer, maybe it's somebody from the wool industry. Maybe it's a rug hooker or punch needler yeah. or a cross stitcher or love it. But it's sort of like just one of the things that rounds out what they offer. Mm -hmm. You get to do that in person mm -hmm. in your jammies at home. It's funny because um, I knew of digits and threads, but I really didn't know about digits and threads. Right. So it was a great conversation. Kate and Kim are amazing and the Kim we're, or Kate we're talking about is Kate Atherley the yes. designer so lots of us already know who she is and maybe the crocheters know Kim Kim Worker because she's written tons of books yes on that so I was gonna ask Kate if she remembered me in her class um if she did it's not for anything good <laughs> it's not for um I, they, <laughs> can I just say I would have peed my pants a little like I don't I'm no, so glad you didn't ask I didn't I would never I, would have been I like, was in my best behavior <laughs> Do you remember me? Um, uh, she, I took brioche for the first time with her. She wouldn't hold back either. She and I feel like lovely. She, she's so nice. So nice. And she's an incredible everything. She's a very mathy lady. She does all this tech editing and designing and teaching. And of course, if you ever get a chance to take a class from mm -hmm. Kate Atherley, it's, you're going to love it and learn a ton. Yeah. Listen, if women didn't get excited or if people didn't get excited and you know, bring these things to life, mm -hmm. we wouldn't be enhanced with all these amazing things. Totally. Do you know what I mean? Like if totally. they didn't do this. Totally. And, you know, one of their points was, you know, being in the industry, everything that they sort of heard about or read about or saw was um, from the U.S. or from Europe or whatever. And they just feel like there's so much amazing textile and fiber and stuff right here in Canada that's not getting a spotlight. So I love that that is the feature for that. So I mean, even if you're outside of Canada and you subscribe or become a member, um, I feel like you're going to be discovering things maybe you didn't know about, which let I me love. Just, let me just tell you a few of the topics that they were talking about. 
One was Fiber Characteristics, Deep Dives, and Blends. Was this their um, studio hours thing? This was another, yeah. Okay. Um, Journey of Canadian Wool. Um, a Gathering Color. We'll talk about it. This is a brand new, an, a, doing a deep dive about this brand new book. Circular by Design, Slow Fashion by Anne Mouliar. Um, embellishing Hand Knit. Like, there's so many amazing topics, you guys. I think that the whole 90-day trial, the yeah. $9 for 90 yeah. days. can't go wrong. You can go to three studio hours. You can go to, and I think they're, I don't know what I was going to say. I think they're recorded so you can go back to them. I'm not sure about that. Yeah. But I'm sure there is for a little I bit. I think they said that. I'm quite sure about I'm that. Um, but I feel like, what do you have to lose? Mm. I love... Re that's why I love like these knitting magazines and books and stuff like that. I love all aspects of it. So um, I loved it. We had a great chat and we gave away 10 90 day trials yes. on the weekend. Yeah. So most, love it. yeah, it was really fun. So love if you guys it. are interested in that and they also have a publishing company called nine Ten publications and they're the ones that published Anna Hunter's book, The Sheep, Shepherd, and Land. And this. And they also published the new We're Caitlin talk about Fish. This. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm done. I don't have anything else okay, left good. to go. These are the books. Okay. I get so excited about these brand new books, you guys. This is the one we were talking. I think, did we mention it? Or did I no. remember talking about digits and threads? Brand new book. It will ship this week. So um, anybody ordering? Um, this is... Unbelievable. This is a book like no other I've seen. Yeah. This is by Caitlin French. She's doing a master. What is her master's in? I don't, I don't know, but she speak, spent but... time in Iceland. Yeah. Like she forages and gets natural earth pigments. Yeah. Her thing is all about color, I believe. Look at that. Mm. Um, she's all about sustainability and nature. And she... Like, you'll see in the book. Yeah. It's about collecting things on earth, on the earth, and turning it into dyes or paints or... So she's dyed that those yarns with natural pigments that are foraged or from the earth and then tufted it with a wool tufting gun. So there's a naturally dyed rug for you. Or whatever wool hanging or whatever you've made, so it's it's not just fiber related. Like it goes down to um, paper crafts and all kinds of fabric and all that it's stuff. It's amazing. I actually think it's going to be phenomenal to read as well as to do. But she's going to teach you um, all about foraging in here. Natural. It's everything dyeing. taken from the earth and what she can do with it, and what she can do with it, and to pull out the color. It's so incredible what she does. The projects in here are amazing. Yeah. It's not just knitting. It is fiber crafts. Like, look at yeah. that. That's so cool. It's amazing. Um, I'm super excited. And it's all like, you can apply that to weaving. You can apply that to sewing and dye fabrics. Tufting, carpet making, any of that, anything fiber related. Yeah. It's beautiful. And I don't know why we're making cord, naturally dyed cord here, but I'm going to read about it because I have no idea. Yeah. Um, but I do know that she's a really special artist and this is going to be a really, really inspiring book. Um, and she's just got so much experience. She's been doing this for so long. So it's very, very cool. Oh, look, she made her own chalk, chalk pastels. See? Naturally dyed. Like things, I've been going to be turning the pages going, huh, I didn't even know Who you knew? could do that. Who knew you can get color out of that? And to paint, like there's something in here about making your own paint naturally dyed so i mean anybody that's into natural dyes and i have to say there's a lot of people out there that love natural mm -hmm. dyed right yeah and they buy flowers and all kinds of things but this is like a similar similar vein of that cabin boy knits yeah he all forages for all of his exactly dyes. it's amazing so i think this is a really cool well i know it's a really cool thing and she's a phenomenal artist so it's going to be really really interesting there is a shawl pattern I see. I know next to nothing. Me too. About 
foraging and zero what, what you what dyes you can make out of what materials and... but she's showing you how to naturally dye yeah. in here so if that's something you've ever wanted to do and that can be dyeing a handkerchief that can be dyeing yarn yeah. it can be dyeing whatever and she's teaching you, you know if you maybe you want to grow a dye garden okay well here's here's some things you might want to consider she spent a big amount of time in Iceland mm. as part of her studies. So, yeah, very interesting. Anyway, new book, and it was published by 910 Publications. Um, and then Lina. Oh. Their quarterly magazine, Spring Issue, is here. It also ships this weekend, so anybody ordering everything will go out on Monday. Isn't that color amazing? That sweater this on the front. This color is amazing. Um, oh, there's a cardigan version too. There's a cardigan version. But this beautiful designers featured. This book, this magazine, this quarterly magazine is packed full of different crafts, articles, patterns, fiber, yarn. Look oh, at I this love one. that. Oh, I love it. Isn't that amazing? Yes. Um, they put they do such an amazing job putting these together this happens to be spring so you're gonna see Look some at the fun color lighter softer colors coming out of winter um some lighter fabrics um and there's always a recipe and articles and interviews it's not just beautiful patterns but it, it is always so inspiring i lots of wool yes um articles like we mentioned um it's ching studio this oh look at that sweater it's pretty spectacular wow it's like they've done cables you guys and then dropped the stitch down or the stitches down between the cables. oh yeah 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 oh wow that's so creative and cool just a minute okay you might be able to see it a little so better cables right here and drop stitches ladders so between these really wide soft cables then they've nattered down the stitches <gasps> jody i love it isn't that yes so cool? that's so cool so this this mag this this magazine is so beautiful. The photography is always amazing. There's always a variety. That's one of the things I love. There's a variety of projects. Yeah, it's not just sweaters, <gasps> even though. Look at that! I love it. So it's always fun to go from season to season because you see it's a it's a special publication. It's oh. Get out. But look what they've embroidered on there. I Little see. rosebuds. Oh my gosh, I can't even handle With that. With a hood. I can't even handle how cute that is. And right? three quarter sleeves. This is so good, That you guys. is the coolest little sweatshirt I've we ever won't seen. We spoil everything because it's always fun to get into a book and that you haven't seen some of the stuff. But this is stunning. They are amazing. The photography is always out of this world. It's such a pleasure to read. Um... That theme of that one is called Waterways. Yeah. So, and if you do love those patterns, they are exclusive to the magazine for a year. So, yeah. So you'll need it. I usually can't wait that um, long. Making Magazine, the first thing I do when I go home, I'm going to add this too, because I didn't get it into the shop, but I will have it added. This is another really good one. This is the next, uh, this is also spring 2024, Making Stories, and there is probably 12 12 designers, 12 so different many. patterns. It's, I mean, it's really, really beautifully done. It's another magazine that I think just knocks it out of the park. Every issue is so beautiful. Um, oh, and I just think, too, the value of the, of the amount of, you know, like, patterns and things like that that you're getting is so much. So with these issues, you're going to find, you know, shorter sleeves, lighter fabric, um, it's just with the turn of the season. Yes. Oh, oh wow. This, that's so pretty. Like oh, wow. Stacking. That's so cool. Like herringbone kind of. I love this cover little tee with texture and lace. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cute? And it's another one that's so beautifully photographed. Yeah. And it's such a nice thing to collect and have a resource on your, it's very yeah. thoughtfully, you know, thoughtfully put together. They do an amazing job. We also have the winter issue. If anyone's still interested, we have the winter one. That's yeah. Really sometimes I um, 
love to just bring in back issues because okay. a lot of people they love collect them. Yarnology one through four was restocked. We love that. Yarnology was out, so it yeah. is a phenomenal crochet magazine. Yeah, we, with a little bit of knitting too, though, right? Yeah, articles, yarn, fiber. That magazine has been out of. It just hasn't been available for a long yeah. time, and it, we couldn't keep it in stock. Issue number four is all about like it's got the great big thing on the granny yeah. square every issue was out of this world amazing so yes. yes if you've been looking for any yarnology we've got copies of all mm. four not a that's ton. an australian publication so which i find is interesting when you find something that's kind of native to or it it's from a different part of the world yes. you're going to see all the yarns and fibers from that area yes. that you don't maybe normally see and i remember at the back of it there were knitting um like pictorials, tutorials, yeah. and crochet. And they had a lot of QR codes for like projects that they were going to suggest. I loved, love those magazines. Yeah. So beautiful. Yeah. I just have a couple of my own things to show. And then I've got Good. some Frankie Gray. Great. Um, Tracy treated me to I this. I think, I think. That's for you. We're going to do a giveaway this weekend. Okay, good. A book Giveaway. I have that beautiful little crochet one, the crocheted amigurumi. Cuties, Arctic knits and, and Arctic knits and a gathering color because I think someone this is yeah. And then so, I'll get I'll give you one too. Did you want you want to read one? Well, I'll just let everybody have it first because yeah, okay. I hope we can reorder. Yeah. But yes, I feel like people. It's beautiful. This whole oh, I'm so excited for people. Okay, to good. Get their hands on it. Yeah, a book giveaway. Mm -hmm. Okay, look what Tracy treated me to. You guys, this pouch. I wanted a neon pink something from Hoagie forever. But you know what I love? The sides are still um, holding it together, but yeah. it opens so wide. And it's lined with a great canvas, so mm. you can see everything. Like, isn't it the worst when something has a dark inside and or you that can't has a see? Yes. Like, this light on the inside makes a big deal when you're trying to find Or a smaller everything. zipper that stops to, to I don't you know. You can even use it as a little, like, yes. e like clutch. Say you're going somewhere. It's got this little, look, it's super handy. My giant phone fits in there. Right. So, Hohe had. I love these. Hohe and Co. had an update last week mm -hmm. that included a bunch of these pouches. These aren't always in their shop, but it was something they made a lot of. Mm -hmm. Rose gold, orange. But the, I said to Jody, pick a color, and we both picked hot pink because, oh, because why not? I've never had a neon uh, anything from Hohe, and I love it. 30. Jody. Somebody was asking about a Rebecca Klo pattern. Yes, that's the plaid one that we loved. I'm just going to go to page 30. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is only available. Look at that. She's a, She's such an amazing designer. It seems, I don't know how these people crank out all their designs so yeah. frequently. Um, it's, a, it's a huge amount of work. That's okay. how. So last week, you guys, I showed, uh, two weeks ago, I told you there was a brand new colorway. Spin Cycle on Thursday had an update. Well, I bought it. Um, this is called Dark Side, and it's a charcoal. It's got a really soft sky blue. It's got a neon yellow and a neon pink. And there's a bit of bit of a really soft orangey color in there, but this is amazing. This is it knit up. Oh, is it? Well, that's there's those skeins yeah. that knit up. This might be the plump though. Yeah, I love that. This is dark side? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this might be the plump that they knit up, but oh, get out of town. Yeah, it's beautiful. Wow. That's it. Um, oh, okay. Full transparency. Mm -hmm. I bought three skeins on that Thursday, and I didn't put anything in the notes. You can put, you know, like, can you pick me this or try and pick me this? Because the skeins can be quite different. Mm -hmm. I didn't put anything in the notes. And these are the amazing skeins I got. I love them. Great. I see like more of this. It's this. This is more of an all over. Just the way the skeins are. You might. You won't maybe get those bands of those chunks of color. Because it's a little more uniformed. Just right. the way it's spun. Right. This is the magic of spin cycle. Right. 
I didn't know if that's what I wanted. I I usually when I'm choosing it, I like the real chunks, the 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 hard change of color. Right. Right. Like the real. So I ordered three more. And then you got oh yeah. And I put in the description, if you could please choose me one with chunks of color, and they did perfectly. They knew exactly what you meant. These are both. They look like different colorways. They're and that totally when you said the magic of it. It is the magic of it. It is art. There's yeah. no skein that's repeated. Yeah. These are all, but you'll get certain bobbins of it that look mm. a certain way and that's that's a great they do a really amazing job you guys of selecting like this was selected without any notes but these are really uniform yeah these skates. are going to go together really well so i'm not sure which i like better i yeah different i love them right? both yeah i just I feel love like this. this would be really great for a lot of people use it for color work mm. in a sweater and I love this one all by itself. Like, I just love those big chunks of color. You these or these? Anyway, we'll talk about it. We'll discuss. Uh, listen, there's knitters that would choose, that say, oh my gosh, these are my favorite. And then there's knitters that are going to say, no, 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 this is my favorite. So they they can't go wrong. I thought originally, because I went so quick, this is the first one I got. And I thought, amazing. Let's see what the chunks of color is going to look like. So, so cool. A two... St two round stripe sweater with a, a solid and mm. one of these like I think this would be so cool you would get chunks of gray and then all of a sudden you'd get chunks of but all broke up with like say Cape Cod blue or cream yeah. or whatever yeah or yeah, yeah neon yeah. pink mm -hmm. so I think I'm going to decide maybe we'll use a skein for a giveaway Anyway, it's so gorgeous. I, I think you should just put them all away. You're going to find something. Okay. Hi, How about Yvonne. just knit a hat with these yeah, guys? Yeah, that's true. This this one that you think is maybe not your... Oh, my God. The colors are insane. Um, They're so pretty. They're so beautiful. I can't even. I couldn't decide. I'm like, oh, I'll end up probably giving the other ones away or or whatever and then I got them all and I thought I don't know which I love better it's almost like two different colors it like really... they're gonna look so different knit up yeah that it's almost like two different colors and then I always get the worsted this is um dream state mm -hmm. just in case anyone's wondering but it came on all the bases I, be I believe they still have it in stock okay on spin cycle but it's look at that it's super wash wool yes I seem to collect it. Mm. It's really lovely. I think you should just keep them and you're going to find something. Okay. I think it would be phenomenal in color work that those other ones. It'll, it'll move just like lots of their other mm -hmm. colors do. Hi, Yvonne. It's going to be so good. Yvonne, am I allowed to say what you purchased? Jody. I don't want to say it if she doesn't want me to say it she just picked the most amazing color combination oh she's knitting something um from frankie gray fiber but we had posted like we had taken pictures of the groups of colors to post so people can like see them together sure right that's such a good idea and she's red red is her color and so she picked the red the red the fade of red Ooh. for um i think an evanescent sweater yes <gasps> That'll be shockingly gorgeous. Oh, look. Yes. She, it was like all the reds and then it, it lollipop and, and something at the end. Oh, that's going to be way Chick too flick. good. Ah. Yeah. So good. You guys do a lot of really great red tones. Like some of them are orangey reds Thank and you. some of them are darker. Okay. I'm going to show you um, a week or so ago, we had a, a morning with some speckles. So I'm going to show you a few speckles oh my God, that we so had pretty. and That's we so um, cranked a DK 50 gram just so we can photograph it. So people know. Um, so I'm going to show you. So this is like the did. color sample. The tube is a color yes, sample. Color yeah. sample. Um, this is called peach berry and it's a very fun pink and it's got some purples and oranges. I love it, Jody. That's peach cool. berry. It's like a mauvey pink. Yeah. That's really pretty. This next one is called Rise and Shine. 
It's got a touch of like beigey pink in there and it's got some really pretty I love yellows. Yellow. I'm really I love yellows all too. over the yellow. Oh, this is good. Crazy cranberry. Is that so that's not as dark as toadstool? Is that not that as you, dark? I love them both. Isn't that wow, pretty? That's pretty, yes. And there's another one that's similar. It's like the sister color. No, that wasn't it. This is like the sister color. Ooh, what a good idea for a fade. Yeah. Like you could fade those three. Wow, this that's one, so pretty. This one, and then you could even put this one in there after. So this one is called Crazy Cranberry, and this next one is called Garden Gate. That's Garden really Gate pretty. and Crazy Cranberry. Definitely different. Yeah. But I love that they could work together in a fade, Jody. This that's one's so called cool. Pink Clay. I love that. Browns and taupes and pink. That'd be a great sweater. This one's fun. This one's called Beach Party. This would be so cute in a baby sweater. Oh, yeah. This would be so cute in a baby sweater. Beach Party. Anybody's sweater. I love that. Little Pops of Neon. That's and awesome. this is DK, That's and the awesome. stitches are bigger. It's even more spectacular on fingering weight. That's awesome. This is a really fun color. Um, this one's called Polka Ooh, Dot Door. We love that. This one's called Polka Dot Door. It's really soft, pastel y. Like a, a little pastel yeah. neon action, sort of. Yeah. It's really pretty. This one's called Coral Kiss. Wow. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. There's some purple. There's some Mayflower in there. I love the pink and orange combo. Love that. Yeah. Okay, this one is called Jungle Run. That's cute. I love the flash of green. Isn't that green pretty? This one's called... Oh, I love this one. Oh, I Whoops. love that. I oh took my the God, thing right I off. I love that. Isn't that good? Yes. It's called Tattletale. And it's got really like bl like burnt Jordan. orange, and there's navy in there, and there's some gold. This one's this one I think was my MVP. I love that one. This one I is mean, I called. Keep pulling it. That's really beautiful. Sedona sand. Sedona That's sand. Super pretty. That's gorgeous. And that one. So it was, this one was my, one, one of my favorites. That is awesome. I see that fingering and mohair. Yeah. That's really, they're all so lovely. If, and if you ever. And they're all such different vibes. Yeah. I love that. If you ever see the speckles out of stock or not enough, please just reach out and we'll get your quantity for whatever you'd like. What are you thinking for your Stockholm slipover vest? Well, you, Tracy knit her Stockholm slipover in magenta mm -hmm. with sparkle. Mm -hmm. I want to knit that size and that sh exact. I don't know if it's that color, but one of the hot pinks. But I thought with like black leggings, a white t shirt, and like a pop of color. I would knit it again. I would do lollipop. I would. Do... I was just thinking lollipop. You should see her. You have a lollipop. No, you have a chick flick sweater. I love chick flick. Jody, I could do chick flick for sure. I also... Chick Flick is Lollipop's baby baby cousin. I love that. Well, yeah. no wonder. I love that whole color family. Yeah. But, um, and this would be perfect in that color range. Like, it would be just go with all of them. Mm -hmm. um, I also love Big Apple. Big that... Apple is spectacular. Yes. We knit that this week, or dyed it this week. It's a color as soon as you dip the yarn, it dyes perfectly. Yeah. It's phenomenal. It's I bright. love that color. I would do a vest in that. I would do a whole sweater in that. You should see it on mohair and surrey. It's incredible. I have no doubt. Yeah. And anyway. I also love on the vine. I would love to do something with big apple and chick flick. Mm -hmm. Or even the one that's paler than chick. Like those... That mm. orangey red and a pink stripe. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Anyway. You know what I so want to do is get minis of all of my, or even 10 gram. And so I can put it on a big, like, loop, you mm -hmm. know, a binder clip. Mm -hmm. So I can have a clip of reds, a clip of pink. So they're just easily portable. I would have loved to have been able to bring, I don't know, 
Yeah, yeah, totally. I think that's a phenomenal you know? idea. And then even to, when you do speckles, like, I like can you're sw- cranking tubes. You've got little bits left over from this, right? Mm-hmm. Like you should make a little mini. Yeah. And have a bucket. You just throw them in yeah. and then you'll work it out. Um, so yeah. the next, so Knit City Toronto is creeping up mm. in May, mm. which is very exciting. And then there's Knit City Calgary coming. Mm. Yeah. In August. I'm excited. Yeah, we get to just drive there, which is so great. Yeah, we're we're you haven't spending. You haven't said anything yet. I haven't said anything. Is that I'm what you're op- fishing? Yes, I'm trying oh, to open I'm so the sorry. door. I'm so sorry, Frankie Grief. I just there's no this reason. This is I big didn't, news. There's no reason I didn't say it. I feel like I talked about it last time, but maybe not. I don't know. It was with you and Amber. I talked we talked about, about it, it a lot. Frankie, behind the scenes, yes. but I don't know that we've talked about it here. Um, I, Frankie Gray Fibers is a vendor officially at Knit City Calgary. Not only a vendor, but we're a fucking sponsor. Damn. Uh, we're that's a, awesome. We're a pack a level sponsor. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I, we're excited. I'm so excited for you guys. Mm-hmm. I'm so excited for knitters. Yeah. Because there's nothing like seeing yarn you love on video in person. Yeah. And... We're you know, bring... there's just so many amazing yes. vendors that are always at every Knit City, um, but it's it's very very cool. Yeah. So I couldn't be more excited. Think about it. Knit City's the first fiber festival we ever yes. heard about. It's the first fiber set festival we ever went to. Mm-hmm. It is literally like, I feel like we're unofficial cheerleaders because we. It's just such an amazing festival it everybody's so happy there yeah. they do such a good job we we've been asked so many times about where we can find your yarn in person yeah. so that we're excited and listen an event that amanda and fiona knit social put on yeah. is an event worth going to they're so thoughtful they're so they're, they're thinking about your experience the vendor's experience is everybody happy can yeah. i help you out and how can we represent everybody the best, yes. right? Lots of fibers. They love it when there's lots of vendors and lots of different crafts. And um, they did they did that big spinning lounge. Anyway, it's just like it's a really yeah. it's it's low key in the way that it's just a lovely place to go. I never. I wish more people used it as a giant destiny. I wish more people got so excited. It's not nearly the size of like a Maryland Sheep and Wool or a Rhinebeck, obviously. Yeah. But I'm telling you guys, the vendors and the classes and the events yes. that surround it are just as amazing. It is amazing. Yeah. It there's is a rooftop, amazing. There's going to be a rooftop um, knit get to. We don't know what it's going to be. You might be telling secrets now. Oh, but there's going to be events created around knit city in the evenings it's incredible the so this is actually the first time that knit city city will have moved to alberta to mm-hmm. have an event calgary is in the heart of the rocky mountains if you've never been here before you are not far from Banff, but canmore it's literally something it is in august you can make this part of your family holiday you there's lots if you want to be dropped off at the event and your family wants something else to do the Calgary Zoo is phenomenal. There's so much yeah. to do as a family that you could do this trip so many different ways. I think it's really exciting. Think about coming. If you guys yeah. are thinking. But that's why you have to tell people in advance. Calgary is such a perfect jump off point to make this Jasper. Bam- You're an hour yeah. from Bam. Yeah, it's a really beautiful place. Can at a time more. of year when yeah. it, you just cannot get mm. better weather in alberta than august so Mm -hmm. um i'm so excited for you guys to be vendors you have so many beautiful samples of your yarn i think it's going to be really really we're going to bring all the amazing speckles we're going to bring the solids that go with them and we're just excited to this is not the start of our vending career this is like the start and finish Maybe we only ever You're do so Calgary. Funny. you got to wait and see how it goes. But um, we're excited. You can't not do it when it's three hours from your house. That's what we thought. Like, load up the car, yeah. load up the truck, drive it there. It is, it's going to be great. So yeah. many vendors from Alberta and the Calgary and Edmonton and, and really just all over Alberta. Yeah. They are at Knit City Vancouver every year. Mm. So this is the year that they get to have it in their backyard. 
and maybe the Vancouver um, vendors are coming this way this time. So, you know, first first year in Calgary, and I just congratulations always to Amanda and Fiona. They do, they're amazing. They do this so well. They've been doing it for yeah, so many years. They're and, amazing. Um, anyway, I don't know how they do it all, but they do. Oh, anyway, they do. So exciting. This was a great chat. <laughs> I had fun. I love talking about all Me this too. stuff. Me too. I had a ball. I never really know what avenue we're going down and I have I have so much fun when we do this and get We together. have a bit of a break, you guys. This will be Oh, yes, yes. Gate cost like $25, $20. I'm not sure. That's it's a, not expensive. You could look that up. It it is there I know there's a price um break when you go by a weekend pat like both days. Like, um it's definitely worth looking into. And like we always say, if you're paying in American dollars, like take off 30% of 25% for sure. Um, oh, that is out of this world. This is Yvonne. She saw this and thought, I want to make my sweater out of this. This She's is going to be. This is. Oh, my gosh. Brick on the vine, big apple, stiletto, lollipop. And there's one more, the chick flick that's lighter than lollipop. That's These kind be of are photographing the same, but they're they're very different. Yeah. This is what her fade's going to be. Well, it's going to be out of this world. You guys are so... I can't wait. That's amazing. That's We're beautiful. always so proud of ourselves. I mean... You should be, Jody. You guys have evolved and learned and grown. I feel like that's what it is with dyers, right? I'm like st We're still learning. Sure. With mohair. Like, l listen. You're a science-y girl now. Oh, my God. And... I'm the worst to do it because I don't want to follow the rules, but this, you have to be real specific. Well, right. Like good thing Jordan's the dye mixer because I get it every, I don't know how it happens. I get it everywhere. Really? Everywhere. I, I mean, I'm not surprised, but good. At least one of you, you know, you only need one that can do that. together. Anyway, this has been so nice to chat. But we were just going to say, oh, we yes. won't see you guys actually for about a month. Mm. Right? Like in two weeks, we leave for our... I wanted to say we'll do one the week we leave, but it's it's going to be rushed. I know I have extra work that week, Joe. I mean, listen, we may pop in. We can just say that. Yeah. I... I because we fly... Friday. Friday morning. Yeah. Friday. And Thursday, I know I have extra work. Like, I'm doing an extra job. Yeah, I have, I'm have. i doing payroll and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Thursday. So, if we do come back, it'll be on a weird day. I could do Tuesday or Wednesday, but that's not that doesn't mean we're going to do it for sure. Right. I said that, and she goes, no. Okay, we do this every time. Every time we travel, we do a podcast the day before we go. And, and we're then rushed. Packing till nine o'clock at night. Yeah. It's just, there's a lot on the Except go. I'm going to be packed earlier. Me too. I'm starting packing I'm going to be such a grown up for this time. I will be, like, mom will always say to me on the weekend, well, do you have your suitcase out yet? No. No, mom, I don't. I know that I should, but I don't. Um, I'm going to be way more organized, you guys. I feel, I feel it. I if, feel it. If we don't do it the week we leave, it'll be six weeks. Okay, well, we'll I feel about like it. We'll, we'll make it maybe work. Maybe we'll see you in two weeks. Maybe we'll see you in... I feel like we will see you in two weeks. Watch our Instagram to let you know. It could be a Tuesday. It could be a Wednesday. It's not going to be Thursday. 100% not Thursday. Yeah. 100%. I could make Wednesday work. Could we say Wednesday? No. Let's not say anything yet. I don't want people to be disappointed. Okay. And, I mean, it's always recorded. It will be... If we do happen yeah. to pop in... It will be here for you, but it's so fun to say hi to you guys when you're actually here. Um, I feel like it'll probably be Wednesday. I'm going to get it together. Yeah, I can make Get it, it together. Thank you, BJ and Star. Thank Mwah. you so much. Thank you to everybody. We've had the best time. It's been so fun to hear sharing our knits with you and all the other things. If anybody has husbands that want to golf, email us. Hit us up. Um, Isn't our it? husbands are so nice. They're such good guys. Yeah. You guys would love them. They yeah. are, they're, they play on lots of teams. They are people, people. Yeah, they are people. Surprisingly. Yeah. yeah, no, they will be having the best time of their life. So of course they're going to be thrilled and so happy. Mm -hmm. Um, 
You guys have a great day. Thanks for joining us. <gasps> Happy belated birthday, Miss Amanda Kafka. Our blingy, blingy friend. I feel so bad. I missed it by a couple of days, but... I yes. Was, I was she said it's her birthday month and I didn't really miss it. Right. So happy birthday, Amanda, the crafty jackalope. Um, we will see you in two weeks. Yes. Love you.